What's up, fuckins? We're back with episode three of Pew Pew and Chill. I hope everybody had a wonderful time without us, because, like you said last week, uh, my roast session, I had enough of these motherfuckers already. All right, to my left is my lovely side piece, Big Cake. What's up, skins? How you guys doing tonight? To my left, I got... How's it going, all you cool cat and kittens? kittens? Excuse me, can't talk today. Just like everybody so. asking for a basket in a day, or what? Sterling, what you uh, got? Uh, fat boy over here on the station with you. And uh, we'll pass it off to my Filipino. Yeah, my name is John. Tozilla, Tozilla! <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all, when he saw that trailer, he'd be tripping. Gaya, ga, gaya, ga. <laughs> Yo, that video I sent you. Yo, that good. trailer, though, Dude. for Godzilla and King Kong, 100% gonna go see it. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be. No, it, listen, it, I sent the best trailer. Jo John lived through it, so it don't matter. Yeah. Was it the like, one where the gorilla, like, it's like Godzilla can breathe fire out of his mouth? And then it's like a no, gorilla no, no, no. like no. throwing shit. No, no, he just no, sent no. it on it's the group the one, chat. It's, it's like a it's cartoon. It's the one where Godzilla shot King oh, Kong. Yeah. Because, like, oh, like, yeah. I'm new to your bullets. <laughs> yeah. Not that me? <laughs> I think that's why John got the haircut because he got a part in that movie. <laughs> yeah. He was an extra. <laughs> extra, was, extra. I was a tree that uh, King Kong shoved down Godzilla's um, <clears> throat. <laughs> that was me. Oh, Coming wrong, from the guy who was literally guy. telling us a story about how he shoved an octopus tentacle down his throat. You oh, mean to tell me you don't suck dick. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Wait a minute. We'll put your pants back on. All right. I, man, I told you I've been lonely. Oh, that's not my fault. <laughs> I was lonely, son, and the towels Those were dirty. dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Me and I, John came in, and I was singing a song to John, and he's like, what's up, Will? And I said, and the way you look, look tonight. Thank you, Christopher. <laughs> God, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> I'm telling you, God, the people on Call of Duty are here singing that song. Yo, and Frank, like, what are they doing singing oh, the Sinatra? They Frank must be fucking Sinatra crazy. is a phenomenal singer. Just oh, saying, yeah, he's got that beautiful lounge. Dude, voice. Oh my God, oh. I can I can drink I can drink whiskey, smoke a cigar, and listen to Frank Sinatra all night. I agree. Yeah. It's a good dick sucking song too. I bet you See, would that's know. The reason why I didn't say you it. would know. I, that's the reason why I didn't say anything. John's gonna over there talk about vacuuming someone's pork sword. I think I should not have my own mic now. No, I don't think so either. You know what? Yeah, you know what? Somebody cut the take it. Cut the line. Cut Post the card line. Or, uh, <laughs> the cards are out now. Take six six six. Oh, going for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Will over here having some testicle difficulties. Mm -hmm. I'm having mic issues right now. God damn. That's yeah. what we're calling it. That's a pretty big head you're holding real close to your mouth. <laughs> That's I mean, it's the same shape as a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kind of. It looks a little bit more mushroom I mean, than normal. I mean, you know the... Uh... It's just prostate cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. My doctor, t I, piss, I wake up in the morning and piss right away in blue. My doctor told me it could be prostate cancer. I told him to shut his commie mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Suck my sour spangled thing, dogs. <laughs> Speaking of freedom, so. Freedom. America. You know, typical topic. What's, what's that? Every, what's now? everybody carrying today? Starting off with Sterling. Oh, gosh. Um, Quick rundown. Um, what you got? What you got? Besides bacon bits. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bacon bits. It's begging strips. I was broke this week. Damn, you had a. <laughs> damn, you he had got a, that great value. Damn, you. Had, damn, what he's saying is, I had a beggar. <laughs> uh, you know, just carrying my usual. Got my uh, Smith and Wesson MMP 2.0 and my uh, little uh, Microtech UTX 85. Hell yeah, sweet, sweet. John, John what you got? Um, pocket sand. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Chop, I, don't, I don't know if they grade it, but <laughs> jungle <Chores>. dirt. <laughs> jungle Chops. dirt works too. Or, or rice, pocket rice. Ooh. Yeah, but anyway, still the Canic, uh, TP9, SFX, uh, PL2 Valkyrie, and the Freedom Munitions uh, Hollows. Oh. oh. 147 green. Ooh, Dude, big daddy. All right, I see you. Um, Expansion. Will, Will, you got something new, son? You ain't carrying an airsoft gun anymore. Yeah, uh, I, mean, you got, I still kind of miss that airsoft. I kind of miss that airsoft gun. That way I can point it at Bebo. <laughs> I mean, what you got though? What, I'm looking at. Oh, what a Glock is it? 17. What? It looks Glock like 17. a Gen 5. Come on, say it with your chest. That's a Glock. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Glock, I understand you're Glock a Glock 17. owner now, but you have to regrow that pair. <laughs> Glock 17, Gen 5. Nice. It was going to be that Canic, but I mean, you guys talked me out of it, kind of. No, I, no, no, John. Listen, the reason why we told Ooh. no, the reason why we told him to go with the Glock first of all was because he eventually he wants to upgrade it like mine and Christopher's. So yeah. Canic, as you know, doesn't have a lot of aftermarket support. 
plus he couldn't handle this trigger anyway with his discipline that he's got. <laughs> yeah, that's Yo, facts, facts. Facts. <laughs> Fucking but facts. Another thing is he, he wants to stay to... away from Savage too. <laughs> yeah, no, and let's not even get into Christensen. God. But um, no, he he. The reason why I talked him into the seventeen over the Canic, owning a nineteen and a Canic, mm-hmm. um, the seventeen is just going to be a lot easier for him to kind of grow into. The Canic would have been like throwing him to the wolves because I mean it's, like, it's not it's not a gun that you can really carry like sure. you have to find a specific company to make a specific holster for that gun sure Etsy <laughs> ask John yeah exactly. and then they fuck up the holster anyway yeah, I know y'all motherfuckers <laughs> make, y'all y'all motherfuckers that, right make that shit over there and you can bring your own shit nope <laughs> that's funny John, John had to make the plastic and then ship it over here and then buy it second hand <laughs> that's kind of why these ta- these legs are crooked on this fucking table we're on yeah no, 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 this was in Taiwan metal, not plastic this so. was made in Taiwan not the Philippines you liar. Oh, shit. Wrong table. What about you? <laughs> the table was made in Taiwan. Damn. Hold on, hold on one second. I'm trying to find something. Eddie, what you got there, son? Uh, I'm still rocking the uh, Glock 45. I don't know. Since I put this X300 on it, it's still... I don't know. It's nice. been my go-to. I, it doesn't leave the holster, <clears throat> yeah. so it's something I keep. I keep the other Glock in the backpack, but this one's the one I carry mostly on body. You carrying a knife on you today? I am. Uh, I'm carrying the... Uh, Poop knife, 5,000. The <laughs> CRKT Provoked. Like, I love that. It's it's still my one of my go-to knives to EDC. I sure. Mean, I, I mean, I, 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 I got a little bougie today, and I carried my butterfly knife today, so I was like, you're, fuck it. You're a ballo songs? With, yeah, they're... With, with that uh, trigger discipline, you ain't cut yourself yet? Uh, Christopher, <laughs> what you got there, son? <laughs> I haven't carried it in a little while, but I'm carrying my Glock 19. Trijicon, Narmar, and uh, mm-hmm. X300. And then uh, for my knife, uh, still carrying my bailout. <laughs> That's literally my go-to knife now. That's yeah, the... I wish we would have had a video camera recording while we were talking. I literally dropped this bitch blade first into the leg. John was the only one that caught it. Eh. <laughs> oh, yeah, fine. That's it. not the first time a sharp object has hit your leg. Facts. You remember in, in Linden? Facts. Fucking, uh, darts, darts to my kneecap? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so this was before they outlawed, or this was like after they outlawed lawn darts. And we bought, my parents bought a house in Linden. Oh. And in the shed in the back, there was like seven lawn darts, like the big motherfuckers. And me and Ned Nelson didn't know what they were, so we were just in there throwing them up in the air and running. That's why they were outlawed. And then we had because a, of those two dumbasses. No, no, they were outlawed before that. We didn't. Know. I didn't even get hit with a lawn dart. I got yeah, hit with an actual dart, dart from a dart board. And, no, now, Christopher wasn't his, even the one that the, threw his, it. His best Wait, friend, my best friend at the time, Lazaro, he fucking tossed that bitch at my knee. It, it was like. Straight up through, <laughs> they, stuck they on the side like, of my knee. They were like playing a fucked up game of chicken. Fast. And my brother wasn't <laughs> trying to hit him, so he kept like throwing it short. And then out of nowhere, Lazaro just looks at him. He's like, nope. Yeet. And then all I see is it just go right into my brother's leg. My brother's like, ow. <laughs> <laughs> like he didn't even react. Like he, he knew it was coming. You know what the bad part is? I'm sitting here thinking they weren't the real lawn darts and he has a regular fucking dart. I think it was John in the bushes going, <laughs> Miss Fat Boy. Miss Fat Boy. Oh, yo. Ace Ventura. <laughs> oh, my God. I had to get so used to not sucking the darts in and blowing it, actually. You know. No, see, my brother and Will could not shoot a fucking blowgun because they'd be the dumbasses to put, wrap their mouth around it and inhale. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but poison, bit, poison darts and a blowgun ain't gonna work. I'll end up dying. <laughs> Man, I thought that was my vape. <laughs> yeah, I won't even. It, it's one of those that's gonna instant death. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, uh, I can, I can see, I can see you two dumbasses being the one to do that shit. Nah, though. Sterling over there does. Wait, he sucks too, so he'd fuck up accidentally. He'd try to go to take a deep breath right before he blows, but that shit's still next to his mouth. <laughs> You know what's gonna no, listen, I'm good enough to go in through the nose, out through the mouth. This yeah. motherfucker sit there and go like this. Wait, she didn't go through. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oops. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> well, that was short lived. What was, what was Eddie Nelson? Last what words? are you doing? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Eddie Nelson, what are you doing? He's still warm, son. <laughs> oh, God. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> 
until Rick and Mortis kicks in. He's still warm. You better I'm in there. Uh, hold on, you gotta fuck around. He and you're gonna be a bid process. He's gonna stiffen up, and you're stuck, son. <laughs> then what? <laughs> I'm sorry, Sterling. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> no. Man, that's, that, no, dull, that, that dull ass. He's gonna, he's gonna pull down. You're gonna pull down his pants on the back of it. He's gonna say, "Remember, dead people void their bowels, and you're gonna have Dookie all over you." <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. Dash won't be the last. <laughs> You're Puerto Rican, not German. <laughs> Give a head boys. Give a head <laughs> That one's mine. Excuse you. Uh, it's actually Will's. Which one? Gutentoff. Tog. Gutentog, whatever. Oh, I I'm fucking Puerto soft. Rican, bro. I ain't German. <laughs> I thought you said you weren't Puerto Rican, though. What? What? I thought y'all were... No, wait. That's Nick. He's Chilean. You fucking idiot. You're an idiot. It's the you same fucking thing. No, obviously it's... obviously Iranian. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> What was that sound? Sand coming out of his nose. No, nope. their last name is Savito. <laughs> How do you spell that? A no, C silent G M <laughs> Z Q three one five. What's the three one five? I don't know. It's silent. Yeah, what, what, what you drinking over there, dog? Yeah, what you got there, son? Uh, Sonic Sour Nos. This shit is fucking great. Did Mind you, you, hold up, hold up. This what? is how obsessed I am with green apple. Green Apple, Nos. Mm-hmm. Green Apple, Jim Bean, and Sprite. Good shit. So the right, right, green, green Apple holster over there. Yeah, yeah that lime leave, green. Leave my lime green holster alone, bitch. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. Sterling, what you sipping on? What you sipping on? Yeah, that look good too, son. <laughs> you sipping on dick? <laughs> no, it's just like magic. Not code. surprised. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. After Did somebody you... stole my cup earlier and I had to find it, and then somebody <laughs> hid the black magic earlier and I had to go look at that. Been, the black magic has been in the freezer the whole time. No, it's never it's, moved. No, it went back no. into the freezer after I found it. It was in the fridge. No, we put it in the fridge because we needed the space for the freezer. But I ended up finding it and then made a drink. <laughs> Did you finish it? Because there wasn't much left. No, there's still some left. Oh, it's oh. enough for another drink. No, there's not. There was, uh, there was literally enough for one drink. There's enough for one more drink. Yeah, he didn't pour a, a lot in there. drink? Yeah. Okay. What, uh, Jonathan, Jonathan, what you sipping on? What you sipping on? Well, I went ahead and brought some uh, Southern Comfort and Sweet Tea today. Okay. So- Southern Comfort? I can't do Southern Comfort. You gotta, you gotta have sweet, sweet Tea. tea. Mm. You, you gotta, gotta have McDonald's Sweet Tea with it. Is it you good? know what's funny is, no, if you John, Flake, is it good? Flake sweet Tea is better it's, with it's, it. It's, it tastes more like Sweet Tea than Here. anything, but yeah. it'll get Let me try it. No, yeah. Soko, Pass that shit up. Me... and... After he oh. just let us know that you someone really might have COVID. You really won't taste the alcohol in it. You cannot taste his, the alcohol. His son... You have to use wow. McDonald's wow. Sweet that's, Tea. I, no, but see, that's the thing. I don't like Southern Comfort straight, so I've had it, and I don't like it at all. That tastes really good. It here, tastes like sweet John, tea. Here, we'll switch One at a time, you idiots. John, let's switch COVID cups. <laughs> I don't like sweet tea, so I need two weeks off anyways. Bruh. See, you, can taste, you can't taste the alcohol in this No, one. you can't no, taste you really can't. I just taste the but, nasty ass sweet tea. It ain't that bad. <laughs> like, I, I genuinely hate sweet tea. Well, <clears throat> I like Arizona tea, you just took which a that's not the same drink. thing. But I took a sip. Oh. <laughs> I'll just squeeze that some more. Hold on. Sorry. So I, I like Arizona tea. I don't like like actual sweet tea, yeah. but that actually really isn't bad. Yo, yeah. Arizona iced tea though. Yeah, ask any ask real, any southerner. Real fucking MV. No, ask Publix. any southerner. Yo, he's shut right. your mic off and walk out the room right now. Real garbage. He's he's not lying. What Arizona? Arizona is trash, but I terrible. that's the only one. That no, I like, I'll just drink know. the mucho mango. That's it. Well, I like their ha- I like their half half. Their well, half what? and half is really good. Why is Will looking at? <laughs> I thought he was gonna eat me. I, I, have you had their uh, their watermelon cocktails? Really good. Arizona. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The watermelon I think cocktail and oh, good. the cherry limeade. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Sorry. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Him out of all fucking Yo, people. I, honestly, it was the bad idea for this motherfucker to buy his own mic. I swear to God. <laughs> all right, he was all right, so much on, quieter on. when he was sharing a mic with Will. Hold on, hold well, on. Yeah, he would swallow the whole thing while I was trying to talk, so I was like, okay, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Establishing his dominance on me. I mean, I mean on the I mic. do that anyways. I'm what? Bro, he's got, You're what? He got four hands. Go ahead, what? say it. Go ahead. You what? Say you what? it. You what now? Privileged. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to cancel Will, guys. I'm sorry. Well, what you drink? Can of white Will, what you sipping on? Uh, Skittles. Um, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> were they Skittle microwaved? Juice. Are they microwaved? <laughs> no, no. Uh, they're borderline illegal. <laughs> 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 but no, I'm sipping on. Chris, can I get a? I'm opening my can now. What is it? What's that sound you hear? Bush. Piss. 
<laughs> he it. But shit, it was 99 he cents. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I haven't, I haven't rocked out of that song man, since I'm, like 2016. I'm, I'm sticking to just Bush Light today, man. It's just, yeah, a bush, it's just a Bush Latte kind of day. It's the Nectar of the Gods. Well, Nectar of God. You have gods, John. No. Yeah, Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. This man, this man going right back Kajuzilla. to Godzilla. Yeah. You know, me and Chris went to uh, McDonald's the other day. You should hear that motherfucker order. That shit's hilarious. Ooh, Chris. Bro, I got some chicken nuggets up in the milkshake. <laughs> and then I switched it up. I was like, yeah, can I get a Dr. Pepper and a sweet tea so I can go fuck my sister in my squatted truck? You know what the bad part is? His sister's right next to him. Hey, girl, hey. hey. <laughs> this motherfucker mom. just moved to fucking Hilliard, so he fits pride in. Where'd you come from? Cut my dome. Man, she but it just, well, it's just well, for well. some reason, Bush Light just hits right. Sometimes, yeah, like it'd it be, or, or some, it's just like right what you need. It's like you don't want right, to drink a lot, right but you, you want some water. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's, usually, that's usually what I switch to when I, when I need to rehydrate. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he I mean, it's not either. bad. I mean, earlier, we were, what were we sitting on, Chick Ultra? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we are drinking some Chick Ultra. Hey, you so got a natty have, daddy in that fridge? I have a Who did? No. Hey, you got a natty daddy in that fridge? Bro. Oh my, oh, my lord, lord no. no. Huh. Well, I guess I'll go drink my own piss then later, later losers. losers. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Yo, that video. Yo, the most offended I think I've ever seen somebody was Chris. I went over to his parents' house uh one day and I had a natter day in my lap. I was drinking and <clears throat> driving and or drinking and transporting, whatever. <laughs> 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 and anyways, he's like, Yo, is that a natter day? And I was like, Yeah, he goes what, you got any more? And I was like, no. He's like, you wow. need to fucking leave. Yeah. He was like offended out. that I didn't bring him one. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they're so terrible, they're good. <laughs> like, Chris, it, I want to touch on just a little something from last week. Just a little something from last week. Uh, you said that you had two things that were in the safe that were going to be left to me, and I'm curious as to what those two things are. The shelves. <laughs> I'm taking my mic and I'm leaving. Goodbye, guys. Bye, Felicia. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. I like how both of y'all answered that. The shelves. <laughs> Don't want already. I have no was, idea where the honest, fuck that came honestly, from. Honestly, just literally, the only thing I can think of was there ain't shit in there but shelves for him after all the guns come to me. No, that's okay. I'll bring the skidster. I'll just take the corner out and take it with me. Oof. Just don't damage my Wi-Fi. <laughs> Where's the router? I'll take well, the Wi-Fi behind me. Oh, Bro, I'll, come, I'll just come straight through that wall. Is that okay? I'll take out the window. Whatever. Then you can put in a big old bay window. See? Upgrades. He'll be dead. Upgrades. <laughs> He'll be dead. <laughs> Karina's going to have a hole I'm, in the I'm wall. Sure my, I'm sure my neighbor's going to wonder why there's a fucking giant fucking skid steer just no, coming what, through what my... What he's going to do is he's going to break through the wall with the skid steer. Mm. He's going to put the safe in the back of the truck and put the skid steer right back in the hole in the wall and just leave. <laughs> <laughs> why put, the fuck a, is there a John Deere skid steer right it. here? God damn. <laughs> Put a tarp around it. So uh, can't, it can't, can't let water get inside the skids to your fuck the house. <laughs> Make sure it's a closed cab. That way you don't get any dust in your face. <laughs> or, you debris. or debris. Or debris. <laughs> no, no, no. I just I don't want you to breathe in any of the dust. Whatever you do, don't not open the door with the bucket up. That's don't all I'm not. saying. <laughs> oh, which reminds me. So last night, um, I opened up one of those little bottles of that stuff that I have in the safe. Okay. You remember those bottles? Yes. Open up one of those bottles. I couldn't breathe for like five minutes. All I did was I open can't breathe. it. Yeah. What happened? No more. You almost died. Yeah. It was. It was rough. Really? Now Damn I'm it. really interested in what's gonna happen when I burn it. <laughs> Make sure you stand really close to it. No, no, no. And, fa- nah, nah, and nah. Facebook Live it because nah. I want to see. Just, you know. just get in your car. Just, just do it. We need the viewers. Just do it for the people. No, just do, just like, do it in gotta, a parking lot. Do it in a Walmart parking lot. No, and no. Just drive off. Show up to a bonfire and just toss one of them in there and walk away. No, you got to go to a Walmart parking lot and do it. No. That's how we get more viewers. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? If you do it on if you do it on Facebook Live, it's the only way to know that it actually happened. Fuck suck. I heard that dude sucks dick with his butthole. <laughs> so his <laughs> urethra. Why are you talking what? why are you talking about John like that? How do you leave the lizard people out of this? Hold on one second. John's about to have a comeback for Andy. Or he's gonna wipe it off his lip. I'm about to come on his back. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> hey, you about to pull a Superman. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. You know, we're talking about <clears throat> comeback stories. Kim Kardashian. I'm sure she got come on her back in that video. <laughs> By Ray J and Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> but Ray J did it first. <laughs> Uh, he wasn't the only one. There's a Wait, whole would list you of consider them. that one an entanglement as well? Or 
I think Will Smith is on that title. Let's ask Toby Bryan over on us here. Hey, yo, Tobo Cop. Yo, Tobo Cop. What's the matter here? We're all going to hell. I'll whatever, see you guys there. Whatever you say, Toe J. Simpson. Oh, God. Here we go. Hey, you don't, know call, don't call they're him they're... Toe J. I'm, 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 listen, I know for if a fact the they're still fits. looking for the sock. <laughs> He actually wore socks today. Too. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I hold on. did. <laughs> yeah, he got tired of people making fun yeah, of him. You know, no, you know he had to no. get size 13. No. Listen, listen, the other day, Here we, we, were on a, hey, we were on a fake. Fa- no, 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 no. I have those same socks, or used to. No, the, your socks will be pregnant. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> yeah, we were on a video. We were you, on a birth a while ago. You won't be lonely now. The remixed version. I'm always lonely. We we're on a video. We we're on a Facetime call. It was me, Christopher, Will, and my buddy Sean in <laughs> post, right? And we we're making fun of Will's feet, and then I saw Sean's feet. This motherfucker crossed his. He interlocked his toe without his hands. Without, without no, his hands. Without, without, he put his, his toes feet. together, and they interlocked. I'm like, what? The f-? I don't want to hear anything more about my feet after seeing that. No, that no. shit was so funny because Sean, no bullshit, literally just put his feet up together like you would fold your hands. Yeah, and literally just cross his feet. I was I like interlocked his toes. I was like, what? Wait till y'all play Call of Duty with him. You'll know what we're talking about then, too. Yeah. But John, that's that's the real cock nest monster right Yeah. Now. Like, oh, his his big toes is trigger finger. No. No that, that <laughs> no. Mother, that motherfucker, it's like when he goes to the bathroom, it's like he's peeing out of a five inch PVC at 100 gallons a second. <laughs> Like, I'm I serious. I swear to God, it, like all you hear is water in the toilet, do, t- like in now, the toilet bowl. And now, it, do you remember before I moved when I was still over at my dad's house when my headset reached <clears> all the way over there? Mm-hmm. No, it was worse. It was worse than that. Oh God, yeah. It makes oh. your it makes you seem like you're pissing out of a pube. Wow. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like it, wow. he, he had like a he had like a five inch round. Secret from the rest of the world. Bro, he, bro, I, I bro it's so funny it because Will went to the bathroom and you can hear Will like struggling to get his fucking pants off. Yeah. And, and then Will starts peeing and I'm like, Will, put your pee pee away. Sean over here trying to take a piss and Will over here trying to take a tinkle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the bet. But wait a minute. <laughs> but the bad part was like I'm sitting there like listen to this motherfucker and he, I was like what is all that static and it's him pissing and it's like I swear to god it, five inches round with a one inch hole at the end just sitting there just dumping fucking water in there and I'm sitting there like god and he's like what and I'm like what you mean what <laughs> hold on one second hold on I'm about to be rude real quick get off your goddamn phones <laughs> sorry I had a message I had to look at okay yeah I'm texting, conducting business I was texting Sean well, <laughs> I'm pre- it's not Sean texting you back because it's dick. I'll no. see you later, Eddie Olson. No. Sean, Sean literally, I asked him for a picture of his toes interlocked. He said when he's done eating dinner, he's going to send it. He's probably eating them with dinner. I just saw you reach for your cup with your feet. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> My hands are up here, you jerk. <laughs> what's the difference? Yo, quick question. The, this will be a new con- what? What's your, fav- what's your dream gun? My cum you, gun. You have My- one. Oh, the cum gun in my pants to work. You have one dream gun. I know everybody has more than one, but you have to have one dream gun. It doesn't matter if it's a rifle, a, a pistol, God, make us think. A, a, a handgun. Like, I think I know yours, and I think I know yours, but I'm going to go ahead and keep that those thoughts John just said he wants I, a new I, spear. I you, what do you think mine is? I know um, WRC. There's actually one for sale. That's actually, so that's not, I want one, but that's not my dream no, huh. gun. Okay. I figured it'd be your dream gun. No, that's not my dream AK-50. gun. AK-50. I really want one, <laughs> but I have one that's over that. What is it? It's the M200. High point. Oh. <laughs> hey. High point dollar bill. $100 that bill. YC9, boy. That you can, boy. <laughs> no, John. I really, I want an M200 in the worst way. Mm-hmm. Like I So an M200 is your Dream dream, dream. Yeah that's... Like you suck a dick for it Like your ultimate wet dream I'd Oof. probably do more than that <laughs> Okay For it With need... with an optic and some ammo I'd, I'd... <clears throat> No you just get the gun There's no optic and Fucking ammo Fucking Sterling yeah, It don't they matter come, you They go... come with the optic So they'd have to take the optic off Hey it don't matter You just It doesn't matter what comes with it the come to somebody say come. Yeah. Oh, you need your dick sucked <laughs> and pubes sucked off at the same time. I got you, fam. Listen, if you um, see me walking up and down Beaver Street, <laughs> mind your business. Mind your business. Mind your fucking business. John, John, what's your dream gun, bud? Um, New spear. The most expensive gun ever sold. <clears throat> it's the VO Falcon, made out of Damascus steel. Oof. I think it was like eight hundred and twenty thousand dollars. The last one that got sold. 
Can I can I change mine real quick? Because I would. I, I it's either the M two hundred or the. Um, I said one dream GAU. fucking one fucking dream gun, not <laughs> all of them. One. You have to choose one. Follow the rules. One. But you nah, said the M two hundred. No. You said the M two hundred. You're locked in. What's your dream gun? He doesn't have one. He just that. got a Glock. <laughs> <laughs> I need, I, need, I need a new airsoft gun. <laughs> the Red Rider. <laughs> Red Rider. Red Rider 22 caliber air gun. Ooh. Without the orange tip. <laughs> no, he's just going to take a Sharpie to it. Just <laughs> A kilo. <laughs> just playing. I don't know. Uh, to be honest with you, I honestly don't know. There's so many that I just can't. Just, I honestly can't narrow it down to one. All right. We'll come back to you. Eddie Nelson, Bye. I already know yours. Yeah? Yep. What is it? Jenny Craig. An MOS. Staccato. Staccato. Which one? Which model? 2011. I don't know. They're all 2011. Listen, I, I'm not a fucking staccato guy. I, I honestly know they make a, a 2011, and they're too expensive for my taste. Yeah, it's a $4,500 handgun. It's a staccato XE. The integrated uh, compensator. Mm. But, but what about the oh, uh, double damn, barrel 1911? No, that's gay. <laughs> Bro, anyway. that that ain't that ain't nothing. Yeah, I, for, I had a look it up. The Staccato XC. Yeah, forty three hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah, you know that's, that's almost as much as the freaking honey badger I, I just and, bought. And that's, just, <laughs> and that's literally just a handgun. It's not nothing. It doesn't come with optic. It doesn't come with a red dot or anything. That's just a gun. And so, it comes with three mags. So John, I get, wish you guys could see my face because it's John, it's really this. ugly. So I went to I went to deliver <laughs> a piece of equipment to a customer, Lord. and we started talking about guns. He shoots competition. With an STI and an Atlas 2011. Look up an Yo, Atlas, 2011. Atlas 2011. Atlas 2011 is no joke, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, that's like number two on the on the list. But I want hey, Staccato. One only. I know. I know. But I, I said that's a number two on the list. One only. Yeah. I know. That's why I only mentioned one. All right. So yeah, as of one. right now, the gun that I am hunting for <laughs> so stupid. just the nuclear power codes. <laughs> Access to the football. A stock Glock 19. Gen 2. <laughs> no. No, that's Will. <laughs> we, Honestly, what is it, Chris? The gun that I'm hunting for is a SIG M13 Virtress. Mm -hmm. Nine inch, 300 blackout. That's what I'm hunting for. And I can't fucking inches, find one. If you're willing to settle for half that. No. I do not want it three times. I want it once. But no, that's what, what I'm looking for. What if I bring for. a brick? Nah, I don't want it to hurt. In order for us to afford these guns, we're going to have to start moving bricks for El Chapo. Oh, no, 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 I have the money. I'm about it. No, I have the money oh, sitting in the safe. You look like safe. the typical Bandeo the, right now. El though. Chapo, yeah. if you're listening, we're willing to move weight. I'm not. I have the money for my he gun is. sitting in the safe. I have the money I'm for just mine telling too. you right now. <laughs> Caleb would just get mad if I bought it. Oh, no. I already no. lost all the money for that freaking honey badger. So. Oh, my. <laughs> Bro, I'm still... I, like, Was your, did you get it suppressed in yes. SBR? Yes. Ooh, it's so you're the... going to be waiting a yes. whole last year. <laughs> He's going to be you're waiting You're doing for two like tag stamps at once. Yep. That should have come in after he gets back from boot camp. <laughs> you, you know, Not even. Probably way before that. <laughs> you know the sad part? What? They say like if you're getting two suppressors and one of them gets approved before the, the second one... They both get approved at the same time. I don't think it's like that when you're going SBR, SBR and suppressor because uh, form one is like twenty something to thirty something days, yeah. versus form four is like fucking twenty to something, al almost years. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, almost uh, almost like two years. I mean, you might get your you might get your shit the same time Christopher gets his. <laughs> but I mean, no, I can, I, I can I'll probably get, get it get unsuppressed. Mine. I'll probably get mine before. Did yeah, you do the uh, silencer shop because they have the kiosk and everything? No, it was from uh, Gun Gallery. <laughs> so they did every. Well, actually, no, yeah, Gun Gallery did. has the the yeah, the yeah I shop did do it kiosk mm -hmm. yeah. because I filled out all my shit right on uh, silencer shops uh, app on their phone like months ago, <laughs> and then last month I went to Recon because they have the kiosk as well. So I went and did my fingerprints there, and then silencer shop this week. Asked me for a, um, asked me for a docu sign. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, Christopher, hold on. This motherfucker right here, whatever dating app he's on, all he's he don't even care what they look like. He is literally just he's liking working that trigger finger. Do the best. Hey, oh he, he my god! Half of these girls look at that, be women. God bro. Damn. Yeah, hold up. Hold, hold on. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Approve hold first. On. Filter later. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Is the zip code the petting zoo or the Jacksonville zoo? Because, bro, 90% of the ones that you showed just now 
were hippos yeah. and water buffaloes. Oh, the picture came up. You could see it? Yeah. yeah. I was swiping fast as fuck, boy. Anyway. <laughs> Those chicks so, right there ain't going nowhere fast as fuck. So, yeah, Forum 4 is like, I think, because I went to Recon and uh, Silencer Shop just oh, asked me for there's literally a picture of a gorilla. I wish I had the reflex to stop fast enough. Damn. <laughs> Rip Harambe. <laughs> so, Still way better than candidate Joe Biden. Oh. <laughs> Magilla Gorilla would have been a better candidate. Who? Magilla take... Gorilla. <laughs> but no, so a silencer shop, like I was saying, they sent me a DocuSign so they could uh, submit my stuff to the ATF and send the check-in under my name. So um, did you pay the tax stamp over there? Okay, because I actually had to go on silencer shop's website and pay the tax stamp through their website so they can go ahead and submit it there. But yeah, I should be getting an email within two or three months saying that they, yeah, that's, that's they cash my check. I really, really hope it doesn't take that long. Oh, it's going, going to. to. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you got, you did a Form 1 for the SBR. Which, that, that'll that come back quick, but yeah. you still won't be able to get it back because yeah, the suppressor. Yeah, you won't be able to. Well, or, I can take actually, it off. Yeah, you can take the suppressor off and they can leave the suppressor there. And then... <laughs> That's hey, what just, you run, get. just run with you it. You mash her on, bro. Just, just run swipe, with her, bro. Swipe first. Dude, is that precious? Um, <laughs> <laughs> might as well be. But yeah, you you should, honestly, you should might be able to do that. You might be able to take the SBR home and leave the suppressor there until it comes in. I'm going to ask, because I, I have that CGS uh, all, all Mod my, 9K, so I could see if that'll fit. Listen, all mm. I know is that when you get that gun, we are going to the range. Oh, yeah. Once we get mine. Oh, <laughs> I just ordered a... Uh, a 223 dead air flash hider for my 10 and a half inch that I just bought, which is sitting in the safe right now, which I have to show you guys. Yeah. 10 and a half inch Roscoe barrel. No, nope. don't open it. You don't even know the code. Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, I do. 10 and a half inch change. Roscoe barrel. Stop. Ah. Sterling. Anyway, 10 and a half inch Roscoe barrel. Geisley, um, I think it's a 9.3 handguard. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Arrow M4 A. One upper. You know where he found this? Where? Reddit. Oh, that's where I find all my ammo. <laughs> Bro, I haven't been able to find ammo Have on you Reddit. Found it? Oh, I need to give you like 200 rounds of Fioki that they finally showed up. Oh, they finally showed up? Some of them. They're it's... sending me like two boxes at a time. Okay. A Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that, that's good because I am I was literally thinking about you today because I was fit, uh, reloading from when me and Eddie Nelson went to the range. I was packing all the ammo for the next time and because I haven't done it since. And I'm like, damn, man, I'm getting to my last 500 rounds of 9mm. I need to hit John up and see if they gave him the refund yet. <laughs> no refund, but they sent... I got Wait, like... I always wanted to ask this. Why do you keep calling him Eddie Nelson? That's so, I used to get... Um, I used to refer to him as my brother. Yeah. And <laughs> I have two friends that fucking hate that because they know who my brother is. So, ever since then, I've been calling him Eddie Nelson. And the reason why I don't say just Eddie is because... I used to hate being called Christopher, and he called me Christopher all the time. You still call him that. So to yeah, piss him off, I started. Name. I started calling him Eddie Nelson. Because I hate my fucking name. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> What's your real name? Eddie Nelson. Acevedo Jr. <laughs> Nelson. Nelson's my. Nelson's my middle name. So, hey, John, I don't want to hear it. You have the whitest name for an agent. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> that is true. Shit. What's your last name? Angel. Angel. Don't you say on hell or something? No, no what's his name? Dexter. Man, fucking his Dexter lied to me wait, then. Wait, wait. Ask, him his, ask him his full name. What's your full name? John. <laughs> <laughs> John Smith doesn't work here. John Roger Angel. And he wants to talk shit about me. Bro, you sound like it sounds like the broke bat version of fucking Filipino happened over That there. is me. Hey, John. <laughs> John, quick question. How do you say that in your native tongue? John Roger Angel. Oh, sorry. John Roger Angel? <laughs> Or, you know, yeah. um, almost a laser ordered an angle grinder. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen your welds. <laughs> I've seen your welds. You're getting an angle grinder yeah, for Christmas. Christmas <laughs> yeah. No joke, though. Joe Coy. Jacques Coy? He, he is funny as shit. When he talks about, like, when he talks about his mom, and he, oh my god. Joe We're Tap. Right? Joe Tap. <laughs> hear me? Little yes. Joe. Can you guys hear me in this thing? Yeah. yeah. No. Right. We can't hear you. Good, because I oh, take the dick out your mouth. We'll hey, hear you a little John, bit better. John, next time you find uh. ammo like you did last time, let me know. On we'll, we'll, we'll go. We'll I'm go. not gonna get it from that Navy Exchange website. Nah. <laughs> Fucking four months, get it four from months Reddit. later. He said Navy Exchange. Navy Exchange. Yeah. Hey, there's don't, a guy. Don't. Your butthole. Hey, there's yeah. a guy. There's did a you guy have to exchange your butthole for it? There's a guy in Gainesville selling a whole bunch of ammo. You should hit him up. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's selling a thousand pounds of nine millimeter for five hundred bucks. 
Who? Some guy in Some dude in Gainesville. Gainesville. I'll go pick it up Gainesville. for you if you want. <laughs> I'm good. His last name's Black. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a Wilson combat. Are you Todd? Yeah, he's, he, he's got a Rolex too, so watch out. You, he'll, he'll, he'll oh tell, my he'll God. Tell you it's time for you to get the fuck out of there. Hey, yeah. Where's I, this guy Where at? is my phone? I, uh, I it, on the floor. Karina! <laughs> nah. So, John, don't Speaking forget to remind me about that cigar as well. Which one? Oh, the jar of Cookie Monsters you're going to give me? I ain't giving you no fucking jar. That's what you said. I, I said I'll give you one. He gives you jar. One. Oh, no. Yeah, one for two boxes of Hornady Match. You know what? I'll just keep my Hornady Match. <laughs> <laughs> How many boxes you got, bitch? Fifteen. Wow. God, I got four. Well, Freedom How Munitions was having a sale. That jar? Are they still having a six? No, not, <laughs> they don't have them anymore. They I, have their. No, I, don't, house I, don't, so I don't have a six five cream morpher. I don't give a fuck. I Hold need on, mine a little later. So, so I'm actually <laughs> thinking about getting rid of the one forty and buying a bunch of one twenty. And re zero. Well, one what one twenty? No, the, see the one twenty at two hundred yards. The zero is the same. So I have the Hornady Black and the Hornady Match, and both at they're both one forty at two hundred yards. It's zero inches. So if I zero it at two hundred yards for both. Then it's the same no matter what. I checked the um, ballistics data on the 6.5 uh, 120 grain ELD. It's the same uh, 200 zero, uh, zero drop. At 500 yards, there's an 8 inch difference. But is that with the same barrel length? Yeah. Bruh, it's what, a, bar- yeah. what barrel length did they I, test that at? I don't remember. Because it may be different. I don't remember. But even then, I'm but, still like, going to re zero it. But. Ballistically, it's. I mean, to a be honest, though, when are you going to be shooting something at 500 yards all the time? Yeah. No, I mean when we go, when we actually all get On ready. Wednesdays. Yeah, when we actually <laughs> all get ready to qualify for the 770. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I'll be taking Wednesdays off to just fucking go. Hey, they have what pro match, nine millimeter, 124 grain. Oh, you hear Rex? HP, 95 cents a round. Yeah, those are hollow points. I know they're in they're in stock. Yeah, that's not bad. I'd rather buy like, like that sterling ammo they're selling right now. That's brass. I have that's uh, just it's whatever I scoop out of the toilet. Forty seven dollars, forty seven dollars for fifty rounds. Oof. I have uh, that ammo. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Bush. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the suspense at the end. Oh my bad. Cat piss. <laughs> you can't say that. You eat cats. Yeah, but not their piss. <laughs> no, you Live. just eat their fucking bladders. No, we drain all that out and cut it out like a fish. No, you cut it like a fish. Yeah, we just eat it to meat. Gaia, okay. gaia, gaia. Let me make it. <laughs> Spe- speaking of fish, so I made a. Uh, I'm not drum. turning my seat warmers on again ever again. I made black drum this weekend or this week for Jim me and Karina, and and uh, I did uh, the Larry's teriyaki. Um, what the fuck is it? The teriyaki marinade with sriracha. Mm. Put it in aluminum foil, grill it at 400 for four minutes on both sides. Boy, that shit was good. Spicy, but good. Uh, I never like eating black drum. Really? Yeah. It tastes like sheep's head. It looks like sheep's head. Oh, I, I mean, they're practically the same you thing. Look like sheep's head. You know the best part about a black drum? <laughs> <laughs> you, you can... I would give a sheep a head. What? <laughs> if you turn to the side, if you do Bro. turn to the side, you look like a fat piranha. No, he doesn't. You look like a fat <laughs> piranha. You look like a hammerhead. I don't want to hear that shit. Dirt. Yeah, the dogs are killing themselves right now. Oh, look, look. More cat piss. Thank you. Cat piss. Cat Dude, piss your fiance's the shit. shit. It was 99 Got cents. It. Ready? So. Ready? Bush. Piss. God damn it, Rex. <laughs> I love that dog, but he's so vocal. So... Yeah. We're going to turn, this, we're gonna turn the heat up on this episode, I hear. Yeah, yeah. We, uh... A little we controversial. A, yeah, we have a topic. Yeah, um, I don't know if you guys are ready for this topic because it's... Bitch, nobody's ready for half the shit we say. Hold Facts. On, hold on. But hold on. but no, for real though, we the first couple episodes we had, we we're just trying to you know get used to it, kind of establish everything. But sure. you know, we're going to start trying to hit at least one major topic every time. And be a little serious. Yeah. Mm, this Good is, joke. This isn't yeah. going to be very serious to me. Well, it's going to be a serious topic, but we're not taking it seriously because look at us. I mean, well, no, look, well, you can't on. really look, at look to my left, look to my left and you're right. <laughs> <laughs> we both did that shit at the same time. And then he looked like both his eyes went, yeah. <laughs> if you want to talk about me being funny looking, nigga, you got big feet 
And a big head. Demonetized. <laughs> hey, listen, he's got to hold up that weight somehow. He needs to with those. Say it. <laughs> Get demonetized. Anyway, so oh our, the topic of choice for our controversial topic oh will be today's topic of choice. Let me make it easier for him. Dyslexic friends in the family. Yeah, it, so uh, nobody runs in my family. I promise I'm smart. I just, I can't, just read. can't read. And it's these flashcards suck. <laughs> so um, we'll be talking about when is it okay to take a life? A human life, not just a dog. Yeah, it's when hey, it's a... I'm never taking a dog. Well, no, that's I, a lie. I, I almost never did. take a dog. Well... I almost did. John's like, Psh, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> John's like, just throw him in the grill. This morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John, go go over to like college and or, uh, college and Blanding. Mm-hmm. There's a bunch of stray cats over there. I'm sure you can make some mean ass fried anymore. rice. Well, the problem is, is when you walk through your house, he's eyeballing Rex like. Mm, nah. 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 <laughs> you ever wonder what happened to Sean's dog? Oh. Oh. How much are you paying for that leg? Twelve dollars. Yeah. yeah, he wouldn't have done it for twelve dollars. <laughs> speaking, yeah. speaking of cats, before we get on this topic, it's God. funny because you guys just reminded me about this talking oh, about shit. cats and shit. So one Catch of the mechanics it. at one of the other stores was telling me that it was a cold day and he was trying to show a customer how to use a wood chipper and there's a lot of stray cats in that area. <laughs> and he went to start it and as soon as he started it, all he was <laughs> and then just guts and everything just started pouring out the top of the wood chipper. I started freaking crying. I was like, I'm going to tell the story to the fucking world because I can't get over it because they love to sit in the worst in the worst spots. So he told me that story. I was like, yeah, like and that. then now we're talking about like cats and cat fried rice and shit. So it just kind of oh came God. up. <laughs> I know. It's like I can't hear myself either. Yeah. Oh, God. We're having technical difficulties. There's two dyslexic people. Or one, two, three, three and a half. All right. So. Oh, that's even better. Holy shit, Batman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy bat shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So. Chris was telling me something the other day. He goes. He was telling me something. That I was like, holy bat shit, man. He goes, did you just say what I think you just said? I was like, I thought I was dyslexic. Shit, man, bat. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't say that. You're saying for bats are, please don't snack on me. <laughs> shit, this is true. true. On me. All right. So hey, Ozzy did it first. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Shit, caca. Yeah, that's what they should be saying. They should all be getting on their knees fucking praying to the bats. So we don't have another wave of corona. Controversy. Shit, caca. Shit, caca. All right. So. <laughs> Like we said, and we got off topic. I Again. apologize for that. We're a bunch of retards. Um, when is it okay to take a human life? In your opinion, obviously. Yeah, it's this all this is own. all speculation. This is all how we feel. It's different for everybody. Sure. Some people don't think it's okay. I'm one that... I'm for capital punishment. Sure. I have, I have specific thoughts and specific crimes that i personally would put under a capital punishment sure but as far as me taking a human life i have different views from i may have different views i should say from you eddie nelson john sterling you are a view i am a view and part of that would be are we talking about from a like a legal system standpoint or are we talking from if, what would be considered a vigilante standpoint? No. Uh, well, no, it's, it, it's kind of personal. more like if you were in a certain situation and sure. your choice was either you're dying or, or they you're are taking a life. No, not even that. Or, not or even that. Not even that. That's not true. even okay, that. Okay, so it, it's it's from a you yourself are it's from, in a yeah. situation that you happen to yeah. no no politics. Put into, okay, so no politics. No, no politics. Legality no legality. It, no justice just, system. It, this is your, your personal, personal standpoint. standpoint on. Your when opinion is it okay? on what is truly downright right and wrong. Sure. Yes. Okay. The common consensus of it, because there's and the and the world well, we live in say now. Common consensus because everybody's going to have a different idea. That's yeah. true, but I mean, and especially in the world nowadays. I mean, the world we live in now is fucking weird. It's yeah. either you yeah. die or it's you're either, taking a life. That's yeah. Like, well, as of I, right now, to to an extent, but like I could understand that if it's if, if the choice is between I'm going home. Or the other individual is going home. At um, the end of the day, I'm going, I'm going, home. going home. So I, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't care if you have a wife or a kids. If you're if you're endangering fine. if they're if, endangering if you, you, become a clear and present danger to myself or anybody that sure. I care about. Yeah. Me and my own is going home. Absolutely. That, that hands down. Uh, so so let me preface this. So just to throw this out there, mm-hmm. just to kind of get a conversation starter. 
Have we all seen the video of what happened in Pennsylvania this week? Dude, that's that happened right down the road from Kale's mom's house. Yeah, yeah. But all right, so have we seen that video? No, nope. I, I have. Has, has I anybody have heard about the shooting in Pennsylvania? I have not. I heard about it. I, I heard about it. Right, so seen there the was video. Video. I couldn't watch the video. There was two people. Uh, three and, people arguing. It was a couple, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was neighbors. They were literally like... No, no, it was the couple arguing I mean, with their neighbor in front, right? Correct. Okay, so correct. they were arguing over snow placement because that's, that's honestly a heated topic up north. It's like some people get really pissed when you shovel snow in front of their driveway. driveway. Yeah, because so, then they have to shovel and then, it out. And then mm-hmm. they get pissed and whatever. But me and a couple other people obviously have some speculation saying that this... They, like they've been arguing and they've been kind of having pre, issues yeah, it's a for a while. Issue. It's a pre-existing mm-hmm. issue. Never had. It, it seems like. So, what happened was they started arguing. The couple, we'll say, on the south side of the street, was honestly they should have just stopped. They should they should have just stopped. Everyone should have just kind of kept their cool, but everybody lost it. They kept antagonizing the male walked up pretty much almost to the guy's driveway he was still in the middle of the street kept calling him a pussy and all this other stuff Mm -hmm. the dude went inside grabbed the pistol shot at him missed a bunch finally hit the dude the dude went across the street in between the cars he shot at the woman shot her a bunch of times went up to the dude shot at him he went out to the dude's property while he after he already shot him the husband ran to the house while the wife was r- trying to run up the street, he mm-hmm. followed her into the middle of the street and shot her. And she was still alive, and the husband was still alive. So mm-hmm. he then goes back inside the house, gets a rifle, and gets a rifle, comes and executes back, executes them, executes in the, street. the wife in the street and the husband in the driveway, in the so, driveway garage. So now this is where this conversation comes in. And um, then he went back inside the house and killed himself. Yeah. So, but this is where this conversation comes in. Jesus. Christ. In the midst of him going back into his house. There was three people who came up to try to help these people. And then One of the dudes was like, call the cops, call the cops. He was trying to check on the other guy and trying to see what was going on. They saw this dude coming out with a rifle and the dude pointed the rifle at them and they took off. Mm-hmm. So in that sense, we all carry. We sure. all carry legally at that. So now that being said. If you're in a situation like that where you see somebody shooting at two individuals and like say you see you you were down the road and you've seen the whole argument because you're shoveling your your driveway and so, stuff what do you do just for clarification there was single guy and the husband started shooting at no no he no. didn't the they didn't, didn't have a gun shoot at him he the in, the single male ran uh-huh. into his house, grabbed his pistol, came out and shot at the couple. The couple never and had then, a gun or anything. Went back, back in inside, and... grabbed a rifle, and came back and killed them. Okay, it's so, like he ran out of ammo. So if I were if I happened to be present to that, mm-hmm. I because I haven't seen the video. I I saw the link to it, but I could not watch the video. I could not find the video, and I, I because I I saw the headline and I wanted to, and I couldn't find. Mm-hmm access to the video everywhere but as y'all have watched the video um i'm sure y'all could probably piece in the information that i'm lacking so if i were to be let's say a bystander during this situation Mm -hmm. i'm witnessing an argument i don't know exactly what the argument may be about i don't know the entire history but i know it's about snow placement Mm -hmm. i happen to be walking my dog up and down the street now as y'all know I don't leave the house without caring. Yep. Neither do I. Unless I'm going to work. So if I'm walking my dog or I'm walking around the neighborhood, I am caring. Now, if I'm to witness an argument between a couple and an, and an individual sure. about snow placement and a dude leaves walks and the singular individual walks inside of his house, comes out with a firearm and starts firing... Two shots max. Yeah. So, He's down. And, so, and that's it. Like, this video, it's a two-minute video. Um, I'm sure it skips forward. But, like, you see the husband and the wife, they're literally shoveling and then arguing across the street with the guy. He's standing in the middle of the street in front of his driveway. Yeah. And he's, like, flicking him off and calling Can him you pussy repeatedly. Me? Yeah. I'll send it to so, you. in that scenario, I would – I'm going to – 
definitely going to side on from the information that I can gather. Very guaranteed, it's very topical. But even then, I don't know what on earth kind of argument you could have with somebody across the street that would lead to them walking into the house and grabbing a gun. Ooh, we got some lightning up Yo, there, that guys. is thunder. That was, Yo, that was right. loud. Just, Man, who I farted? I saw the flash outside. Like, who farted? Right, yeah, that was that was pretty legit. That, um, was, that was Sean dropping his dick. So, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's so close. <laughs> as, as topically as possible, with as much information that I can possibly gather... God say, don't do this episode. From what I've witnessed, um, I am probably, if, if I'm just, like I said, if I'm just witnessing this argument happen from across the street and sure. somebody goes inside their house mm -hmm. and comes back outside brandishing a firearm against people who is not on his property. They're not on his property. They, they're not, they're not showing, physically threatening him. Exactly. They're there's, not threatening his no, life. There, there's no clear and present danger. Mm -hmm. They're not on his property. They're not brandishing or carrying a firearm. And somebody walks out and draws a firearm on somebody who is, we'll say, unarmed because they're visibly unarmed and not posing a clear and present danger. Correct. And they're not on his property. He's getting dropped. All right. Like you physically have to hear because you can hear in the video that the, the whole argument they're yelling at each other and cursing at each other and everything. Like that's it, fine. That's fine. It's, words are words. It, it, but, it's, but, but no, it doesn't there, become a big issue until n nobody put hands on each other. Correct. Correct. Nobody brought out a machete, a baseball bat, correct. a sledgehammer, a pipe wrench. There was there was no apparent until threat. Like the you individual said, individual walked inside of his house. <laughs> And went and grabbed a firearm. Mm. Yep. The Came only back time that you will ever, if somebody, let's let's say I was in the singular individual shoes, right? I may have somebody that I'm disagreeing with and I'm arguing with. That's fine. I'll sit there and argue and disagree with them as much as humanly possible. But they are not on my property, and they are not showing a clear and present danger. All you do is walk back inside your you house and have to walk inside about your day. and say, you know what? Fuck my neighbors. Fuck them. I, they're garbage, and I hope they get whatever. So I want to elaborate on that as well. So me, everybody knows how I am. Everybody knows I have no fuse. Everybody knows I'm a short-tempered person. Ironically enough, I can have enough patience to ar like to not argue with people. So that being said, I'm one of those people who I would essentially just, you know what, I'm sorry. I'll fix what I need to fix just so we don't have to ha continue having an issue. Now, if the issue presides and continues with them doing what we agreed not to do, then I'm going to like confront them, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to confront them with hostility. Now, you just like, want to confront the issue at hand. Exactly. So yeah. like you said, I'm not going to brandish a firearm. I don't need to brandish a firearm because there's no need to. That's sure. that's exactly that's it, it, that like relates to the they're not on my property and they're exactly not sure exhibit they're not they're not showing a a, a, a clear uh, present day exactly. So with that being said, you're a bystander. You're walking. Do you justify it as you didn't know exactly what was going on? You saw somebody with a firearm shooting at two people. And you were in close proximity to them. You felt threatened for your life as well. So you pulled out your firearm and dropped them. So mm -hmm. I, I'm going to let's narrow this down a little bit more. Let's say I'm coming around the corner walking my dog. Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't have any of the previous information. Yep. Sure. All I see is these this couple across the street, unarmed, and mm -hmm. a guy coming out into his yard shooting at that couple. The unarmed couple. In, yes. The unarmed yeah, couple uh, okay. not on his property. Correct. At that point, with even less information, he is even more in the wrong. That is true. One thousand percent. I agree with you. And at that point in time, I mean, you're, you're, but, but you're at seeing that point this. In time, at that point in time, and I'm you're, turning the corner. And you're a legal firearm owner. You have it on you with your non-existent fucking dog. What do you do? <laughs> Two in the chest, one in the head. That's Mozambique. The, that's. I mean, I mean, so, no, <clears throat> my question is to you. That's another topic, though. That's another thing that's on the, if on the gray area, because 
if you're not in immediate threat and you shoot somebody, that is true. You are now yes, the but aggressor. that's the thing. But, but that's the thing. Well, you got to think about that's it like the this. Point. However, he, you, you also don't... have another uh, another side to that. Is, okay, maybe I, from one angle, have seen as the aggressor. However, I'm also saving two other individuals. Sure. At the, at so the same in time. this in this case, he can say if he's walking around that corner, can he logically say? He was walking up the street at that time where the dude came out with the firearm. Sure. He doesn't know anything that happened. He doesn't know what was going on. The dude's brandishing a firearm and discharging and the firearm. And he doesn't know them from Adam two, and Eve. And he, does, and he doesn't know John Doe and Jane Doe. And they're getting shot. He doesn't know where they're from, where they live. And he just sees two individuals getting shot. They are unarmed Can he, and not on his property. Justifiable? Is yes. it justifiable yes. Yes. for him to put him down because he doesn't know if that guy's going to turn on him next? In our shoes, 100% justifiable. But then politi- the law. politically, moving. you'd be going to jail. Legal, uh, legal-wise, yes, I would. Yeah, yeah but, that's the, but there's no legal ramifications here. But we're talking yeah, this now, outside I, of I, this I, is what would be... I, I Black understand and white, that. Right and we're just saying, in reality, though, in reality, in reality, I would be, be charged to, for murder. You'd be charged for murder, but, convicted but we're not. Murder. But at the same time, is that's where, really quick, uh, this is going to go off topic, but that's where ca- having a insurance for carrying a firearm comes in place because then you now have lawyers backing you up. For that reason, but that's the thing. We're not talking about. Yeah, we're not talking legality. Yeah, we're legality. talking about we're we're ta- our own we're morality. Talking, we're talking we're about, about morality. Morality. Wise. Oh, morality. Yeah. That motherfucker's getting shot. One hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. Right. John. Right, John. John. Yes, I would shoot him. Why? One, I'm very protective, and if I see someone down or, un- or you know unarmed, yeah. but if I was put in that situation that I just watched, because I just watched the video, mm-hmm. yeah. If I was one of those three people that walked up to the scene, I would be at least pulling one of them off to the side or trying to get them together and if I see that guy come out of his house with a rifle getting ready to shoot again if he points that at me I'm not even going to give a warning shot it's going to be two it when your warning shot hits him yeah. on accident there, no if there's no accident there's no, no accident he's making, a, he's making a joke yeah I'm just saying like <laughs> if that was if I was in that Oof. those shoes yeah. where Pennsylvania is an open carry state unless yeah. you're a felon you can't carry a gun yeah. Pennsylvania is an open carry state true one hundred percent. Any I've... of these people could have easily stopped him as he was returning. But that's with... the thing. A lot of people are afraid to get. A lot of people have that mentality of, as long as it's not hurting, quit. Yeah, quit moving. You gotta quit moving. No, he's got to get closer to the mic because he's yeah. talking. Like yeah, yeah, because you keep moving and you're like, oh. no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, you're good. But that's and that's the problem is a lot of people don't. There, a lot of people nowadays have that stance of, if it's not happening to me or mine, why do I care? Yeah. But that's the difference between right and wrong. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, if I saw, like, like in retro, like I saw um, that same situation going down, there is no questions asked. I am putting that motherfucker down. Well, we've seen you shoot. You ain't it, nobody. <laughs> anyway, so obviously, going to be like the dude in the hey, beginning hey, of the video. Hey, 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 controversial and serious. Oh, hypothetically, saying, it's like obviously it. <laughs> it's the me and mines are going home. However, it, you also have the the really kind of a, a really broad good versus bad, and you have to split second make that decision. So who's in the right? Who's in the wrong? So it's like that with it's like minimal that, information. It's like that that's post true. that somebody made on Facebook. It was like I stand behind you at the grocery store. I stand behind yeah. you at the oh well, I can't say the bank because you're not supposed to carry inside of a bank. But it's like when I stand behind you. You're allowed to carry inside of a bank. I stand behind you at a, behind. I stand behind you at a grocery store. You look at me, not knowing that I'm ready to put my life on the line to protect you and yours. Absolutely. So me and mine can go home as well. Absolutely. So it becomes a an aspect of I'm ready to lay down my life to, to protect, protect yours to protect everybody around me, whether I whether I know them or not. And me personally, I have the the mental thought process to say, all right. This seventy-year-old lady in mm-hmm. front of me at Walmart, she's not going to be able to protect herself if if a, a, an active shooter comes into Walmart. Sure. So first thing I'm doing is making sure that she's good, along with everybody else. I'm going to make sure that she's down, if I know her or not. So I will put, and we all have that mentality. We all we do. We will here. put ourselves bef- um, in front. I, I I would put not only my life, as it were, flesh and blood, but. 
whether or not I go to jail over drawing my firearm and taking the sure. life of somebody else to protect others. To bring, I mean, you have because to, that, and, you're and taking that one it, life, and it, that could potentially save th- the hundreds of people that are there. And, and yeah. let's look at it from a moral standpoint, all right? So I'm going to ask you all a question. True. Do you think it is moral to carry a firearm inside of a church, a yes. house of worship? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll you mess with the flock. I'll you got baptized by the flock. I'm sorry. You, so that's going to bring me to the situation that happened in Texas I'm carrying a gun no matter what. I don't care. But that's like, going to bring me to the situation that happened in, in in Texas a few months ago. Sure. Right? So if you ask just Joe Blow off the road, hey, I'm going to church. Okay, cool. I'm going to church and I'm carrying a firearm. Wow, why would you carry a firearm to church? Well, because some dumbass may be breaking down the door with a shotgun and start shooting into that's the true. congregation. That's true. So, so now, we're gonna, now we're talking about that. You can legally carry into a church. But now right. let's talk about somewhere where you legally – you're on. not supposed to. On time out. <laughs> time out. I mean, that the the shooting that happened at church in Texas, that guy, I mean, he was a uh, he was a firearms instructor. He was yeah. a firearms instructor. That motherfucker everything. is a yes. great shot. Yeah. And, also, he shot him one shot in the head with a three fifty seven sig. But how many? Yeah, but, sig P three twenty. But how many people did people? Sh- how many people did he actually shoot though? Not the, I don't remember. I, this uh, was, this he was, he injured two people. He injured yeah, nobody, two. Nobody died. One person died, and that was the active shooter. Right. Yeah. Okay. So in in that case, that one person who's a responsible firearm owner was attending service at, in God's house, and, was able and to some jerk evil. off decided to open up and, and fire. He drew from concealed. Placed one shot and well, got a headshot. Well placed shot. One extremely well placed shot into his head. Right. He was so confident in that shot, he did not take a follow up shot. And the thing was, he pulled the trigger one time. But the thing was that that's another thing. I mean, he was. It's kind of like most Americans in that He's, in that part of the country. You know, fear God, love your neighbor. And he did the right thing by protecting his neighbor. Yeah. So exactly. now, now that we like. Obviously, we can carry in a church. I mean, there's no postage that says you can't. It's not a government building. Sure. We can carry in a church. But we were talking morality. But, hold on. morality. but now we're talking morality. You're not supposed to carry inside of a movie theater. I will not say whether I do or do not, but if you were to carry in a movie theater, yeah. how many shootings have happened in a movie theater? Well, the, 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 the big one. The Batman movie. All, the, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. The Aurora Colorado, shooting. Yeah, the Aurora. exactly. Yeah, it was that. So, and so, the thing... Now you got us. Say we all went to a movie theater. Man. Hold on. Hold on. I could do a we lot went, better we than went, you. We went to a movie theater. We were all there watching, I don't know, Broke the new... Grown Up 3. Brokeback Mountain. Godzilla. God, we were watching the new Godzilla. Godzilla, Godzilla meets Brokeback Mountain. I don't fucking know. We're there. We're not carrying. Scenario one. We're not carrying because it's the legal thing to do. We and somebody that. comes... An active shooter comes in. Sure. Kills 100 people in the movie theater. Sure. Because he has extra mags or whatever, or he's just going through with a knife, stabbing somebody in the neck, blah, 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 whatever. Exits are blocked. He's just going at it. Yeah. Complete fucking massacre. We don't carry because it's the legal, quote unquote, thing to do because you're not supposed to, quote unquote, carry into a movie theater. Sure. Now, scenario two, we say, fuck that. There's a concealed weapon for a reason, and... That's an infringement saying I can't carry into a public, quote unquote, place that I'm paying to get into. So now all five of us are carrying. There's one casualty. The shooter. The shooter. Now, all of us, minus Sterling at this current moment because of the way his gun is set up, because of the holster, are carrying a light. So that being said, at least we have the... the to identify the target. Means to identify the target. Or threat. I'm sorry. Or the threat. threat. Perfect. Pro- pro- proper. Proper pronunciation. <laughs> quit moving because you're like, in and out. So Stupid. we have the light that we can properly identify the threat and properly execute what we deem as a confident shot to stop the threat. Now, I'm not pulling the trigger unless I know for a fact I'm not going to hit anybody else. I'm not worried too much what's past my target because i know what i'm shooting is going to stop inside him sure and the way movie theaters are set up there's tunnels that come in Mm -hmm. and those tunnels are right next to a wall yes and those walls are pretty thick because of the 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 sound sound the 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 doubt the depth the sounds of the other surrounding areas absolutely those walls are pretty thick so even if you were to be carrying a larger caliber 
heavier weight round. Something a little bit like a 5'7 by 28 or something exactly. along those something lines. Something that even had more penetration, penetration. Or your have, standard 9mm or nine millimeter or you're carrying an FMJ for, uh, for God some, easy. Yeah, exactly. It's for like, some but, unknown reason you're yeah. carrying FMJs but instead of hollow points. But absolutely. You have confidence that you are not going to hit anything but a wall my, behind that yeah. target. Yeah, my but now, shot, now. My shot will be 100% with confidence of it's going to hit him and not going to go through him and hit somebody behind him. Yeah. It's literally – it's a shot like he's walking through the exit and you see gun. The first thing I'm going to yell is gun. gun. So then what I will be – would what I would personally do is be physically drawing from concealment, identifying the threat, watching where he's walking – and the moment I have a clear shot and there's nobody behind him, You're I taking will be it. placing my or shot. Or in front of him. Or in front of him. So, and that's it's, the main thing, like, with movie theaters. you Movie theaters, are, what, I, what I like about the scenario itself is there's a lot to think about. It's dark. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people. It's not a very big space. There's not a lot of uh, room to run. A lot of people are going to be tripping and jumping up. A lot sure. of people are going to be trampling each other. So, you ha- that's, like, to me... The perfect shit case scenario. But the thing don't is, move, get right behind the seat, sure. the row in front of you, and you've got something to that's, brace off of. But the moment, let's go ahead. Sorry, Will. Go ahead. But, no, uh, go ahead. Go no, ahead. I was gonna say, yeah. at that at that point in time, I mean, I mean, how? I mean, in reality, how would you? Re, I mean, you say you how? God, I can't talk tonight. I'm sorry. In reality, what's going through your mind? I mean, My, in, re, in reality, a, in, there's somebody walking into this theater with a gun, and there's 150 people in here, and they all probably got families. Absolutely, the and that's thing, problem. And, is, I, and the thing is, that's crazy talk nowadays because nobody thinks that way anymore. Like no. I'm saying, nobody does because everybody's so worried about minding their own skin and not willing to put lay down their life on the line so the other guy can crawl over. So, but, and that's yeah, the they're going to trample each other. And they, but the problem is, is like people. Like panic. you're saying, panic. they're going to panic, and the moment that first per- – even if you don't see it first, whoever sees it is going to scream and yell gun. And again, everybody's, everybody's, everybody's going to start screaming other. and running and trying to get away, see, and that's when it's going to be an easy, easy, p- easy target picking acquisition. for him. Now, you look at the person who's not sprinting away from – No, not even. You're everything. looking at the person who's – like you're looking at people who are sitting next to each other in a movie theater, and even, even right now, even if there's like – Instead of 150 people sure. right, to a theater, say there's 60 people to a theater. <laughs> Evenly spaced. 60 Evenly apart. spaced, right? It's because COVID, weird times, so whatever the fuck. Yeah. Now this shooter walks This in. is all pre-COVID. Let's just say pre-COVID. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Let's, we're just, let's even talk COVID. We're, we're, we're yeah, talking, we're talking like just right COVID. We're talking okay. right now because right now there's less space, so you would assume people would be more apt to be able to get out of there quickly. Now you're still trying to run through these fucking aisles where they're sticky, they're slippery, they're fucking there's like butter, popcorn, there's butter, popcorn, and popcorn the people floor. are throwing shit. Now think about it like this. We live in a time, like you guys said. Yeah. We live in a time where people aren't they're, – they're too scared mm-hmm. to do anything. They want to mind their business. They want to stick their head up their ass. They don't want to argue. They don't want to do anything. They want to go home sure. and see their kids sure. or their, their loved ones. Now, say we live in, in a couple years ago when people actually had balls. Now, y- there's an active shooter they that comes in. A couple years ago. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. But now – Active shooter comes in the movie theater. Somebody yells "gun" and jumps on the dude. What are you doing? Well, the, I think the, I, 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 if somebody were to jump down, there, I'm making my way there as fast as possible with sure. my gun, ready to make sure his or he is not physically going to hurt anybody else. Well, that's the other thing too. Like, I mean, that's what I think. That's what makes us a cut above the rest in this in our particular group of friends here. Is but that's what makes us a cut above the rest. Everybody's gonna run away from danger. We're gonna run towards it but, to protect theirs. But, so, I mean, no, no, that's no, the way I, I look at what it. What I'm saying is, problem, so we're gonna carry off of what he's saying. So somebody walks in, somebody says "gun" and jumps and on you the guy. Have some guy who may not be armed. All he's worried about is he has kids at home. Correct. Sure. You know, he or his wife and his kids are, are at the theater. The are at yeah. The, yeah. He may not be armed, but he wants to do whatever he can to, to make sure they that. survive. Yes, now, absolutely. That's, that's when you have more situation reading coming into effect. Okay, so this guy has 
kind of tied him up for a minute. Here's the unfortunate reaction is the guy's going to start kind of pulling the trigger all fucking willy-nilly. Correct. Mm-hmm. Sure. But so, the, only, the only problem with that is, I don't know about you guys, but where, where do you sit when you go to a movie theater? I had normally at the top. Okay, yeah. then. I'm at the that's top. So, I always sit at the top. So that's another thing. What I've started doing when I... Uh, you got... I mean, Not, it's the same when I go, you to, go the movies, to a restaurant, what, where are you sitting? I, where are you facing when I'm, you go to I'm a facing, restaurant? The exit. I'm facing exits and scanning. As soon as I walk into a place, I scan for exits. So I, I usually and either sit. strategically sit where I can see what's, see going, what's on. going on and find a, a direct path to flee if necessary necessary exactly oh, oh, so, so sitting at the top is not necessary correct for a it is better view correct it's so you can have a gauge better of better no one's gonna sneak up behind round. you exactly you can see everything that's going on so yesterday for example karina and i went to eat sushi i sat against the window facing where everybody's walking in unfortunately i hate having my back towards a window but there is no other way around it so i kept looking behind me she knows my thought process she knows how i think how i react and stuff like that so me personally i was thinking if shit hits the fan the person's gonna come in from my right i can kind of see through like the painted glass or whatever Mm -hmm. i can't see what's going on behind me so if somebody's gonna come in from the window behind me that's what makes me uncomfortable. So, but I will say here's the good thing about that is because you also know your woman and know that if she were to see something happening, you know her reaction is going to be. <gasps> yeah, and then and, at that point, I'm turning around and, and that, reaching. Or, or you notice that as soon as you see that, <gasps> you know something's happening behind you that yes. you can't see Correct. that she can see. Exactly. So going back to the whole seating position in the movie theater, I've always liked sitting at the top because like you said, I like seeing who's coming in. And who's going out? Sure, but I same. like reading people. Now, we're going back to the topic where um, where it's okay. Gun, gunman comes in. He he just start. He like pulls out a gun. Somebody who's sitting right there sees him, and he's like, "Nope!" And he jumps on the guy and yells, "Gun!" Now, I'm point. not pulling my gun. I'm running down there to try to help this dude because the last thing I want to do is pull out my gun at that point and, and then everybody the not guy. no not oh, even what? that that guy's yelling gun and he's fighting somebody and here i come willy-nilly from the top mm-hmm. with my gun out now everyone's gonna be like oh shit this guy has the gun and then maybe somebody else from the crowd and that's a common me, confusion too. and i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna go down there and help him if that guy gets kicked off or shot uh, that's when i draw put two in him and then drop the gunman and then tend to the uh, bystander that was shot. Now, that's my thought process if somebody jumps on. I if I'm the first person... That's the other reason why not only do we carry guns with us every day, we also carry a knife. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you were to have a situation where, okay, a gunman walks in and somebody mm-hmm. sees him before we do and they jump on him to distract him mm-hmm. or to try and say rescue everybody else, do you go in and you try and shoot or do you go in, you draw your knife where you can get up close and personal, you can handle everything. You can disarm him with a knife. Disarm him, injure him, put him down, kill whatever you have to do to keep the casualties to a minimum and not risk an accidental... An accidental discharge, we'll call well, it. Or, yeah, or, or a negli- or, we'll, we'll just call no, it a well, negligent not even, discharge. Not even a discharge, but uh, an accidental injury or death to... an innocent individual well we'll just call it a, we'll just call it a, a negligent discharge at that point because say you're running down the stairs it's dark yeah you got your light on and you're identifying the target but, but you trip you trip you, not or... not even that you trip down the stairs because you're trying to make it there in a hurry next thing you know you slip you may not you may have the best trigger discipline in the world but for whatever reason you your shirt gets caught in the in the trigger well and then you shift and then you shoot somebody in the next row or whatever that's why if somebody's if somebody identifies the active shooter jumps on them you don't pull in my opinion this is just me you don't pull your firearm until you're up close and personal and you have to because two or fighting until one you have a clear sight picture yes. where you won't have the risk of an, uh, injuring or yes. killing an innocent bystander yes i agree well I, I agree will my thought process on the whole thing yeah 
I, I'm going to be, I mean, it, the difference between my, I'm going to them either way, but at the same time, I'm going to protect you and yours just because that's, that's my nature. And that's, that's, that's the person in me. But that's, but at that point, is it just me and mine, right? So let's, so well, it's not let's just take, me and mine, it's on, you and yours. Let's, let's take this house into consideration, right? Sure. And let's consider this room, this, this, would, be the, this would be the versus, wrong house. <laughs> no, well, yeah. But hold on. Let's, let's just take this house, for example. Sure. Let's consider this room, me and mine's, and the people outside of the room. Sure. Not exactly me and mine's, right? And yeah. That, I mean, we all know that that's not literally, they still fall under that, right? Sure. But if somebody were to kick down the front door, do I go handle that situation, or do I let the not me and mine's no, you fall handle prey it. to no. that until they kick down this no door. you, I, you, you understand it. where i'm coming from absolutely though, right? so obviously i want all of me and mine's to go home but before that i'd rather everybody else go home before i go home that's Agreed. kind of and that's kind of the yeah. mentality i carry too because if, if that happens and i see it I'm going to make sure, I, I mean, laying down my life is one, and I will, even though I am a dad. It's, it's less, and, well, see, I don't have that to burden me down. I don't have to worry about the, I don't have to worry about that as much, right? Sure. So it's less me and mine, and it's more make sure mine gets home. I'm going to, well, either way, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to, I, I, like I said, I will put my life on the line to protect those and those around me because that's just who I am. And I, and that's the right thing to do Yeah, for it's, more as a, a, at a moral right, standpoint. It's the right thing, which everybody should have that mentality of doing the right mm-hmm. thing Correct. in the situation. Yeah. Not Nowadays, pulling out your fucking phone and taking a fucking half shit video showing, uh, in, like a bystander who like you, for instance, you run down there to save somebody's life. And then there's one person who just catches the last 10 seconds where you draw your gun and put somebody down, but they don't show the guy dropping a gun and they don't show 10 seconds before that where he killed three people. Correct. Sure. But it's that, kinda... that's the thing, though. Like, if if with the active shooter situation, the guy's coming in, yeah. most active shooter situations, they come in and immediately start firing. There's this no, is pre-planned. Has, this is there, premeditated. Yeah, there's no, oh, I'm going to come and in just and they there look around and, and then start and identify a target. It's yeah, just, they just come, come in, in, spray and pray. Okay, there's and people and start shooting. Right, Correct. and that's the thing. Like, you, you, we're all at the movies. Actor shooter comes in. <laughs> First and foremost, wrong theater, bud. <laughs> Especially with all of us in there, because I, like I said um, earlier, on, is that on. we mix. Tilt your mic, because you're talking into the side. You need to talk into the side. Shut up. There you go. Much better. Much better. You little bitch. All right. Anyway, <laughs> and the thing is, that's what that's what puts us uh, as a friends here. I mean, I would like to think we're all cut above the rest, and for our age, <laughs> even we're well disciplined. Well, let's let's talk about it like this. So, for instance, me and Joseph went shooting a while back. Who the fuck is Joseph? Are you serious? Oh, Maui. Maui. Me and Joseph went shooting a while back, right? I, I had a, I had a Friday off. We went shooting. Afterwards, we went out to eat. I knew. Shocker. I knew Joseph had my back. Yeah. Just as Joseph knew I had his back. Sure. He was carrying. I was carrying. You know, we knew, like, I, I felt comfortable facing one doorway while he was comfortable with his back to that doorway. Sure. Facing the doorway to my back that I was comfortable knowing that he had mine. You so, had each other's sex on that one. Exactly. So when I go to Walmart, like, for instance, when I went to Walmart today, I, you, you make this joke all the time. Have a plan to kill everybody you meet. No, be polite, be professional, but still have a plan to yes. kill everyone you meet. So It's not a joke. I mean, that's no, serious. But, but still, the thing is. I, when I go to Walmart, first thing I, I do is I know where I'm going. I know how to get there. If I don't know how to get there, mm-hmm. I take the least amount of turns to get where I need to go. Yes. Now, every Walmart's different. Every store is different. If you're in a department store versus a grocery store versus an electronic store, everything's different. So everything differs. So if I go to Best Buy, for example... Or, yeah, if I go to Best Buy, I obviously have to take more turns than I do if I go to Walmart. Because Walmart, nine times out of ten, I can literally go to a certain aisle, grab what I need. When you go to Best Buy, you have to kind of turn to go somewhere because they have that fucking phone kiosk that 
and the way everything's just set up exactly in there, it's, it's, it's always a little bit more maze it, it, it it's there to keep you there longer kind of thing so when i walk into a, an establishment i plan my way out based on how i walk in because i don't give a shit if i walk in an entrance and that door doesn't open for an exit i'm making it open so i will say uh, pretty much every Best Buy, there is a few entrances in the back, especially if you're closer to the back where they do all the installations. Yes. You have big shop bay doors that but are always not all But not all Best Buys have that. A lot of Best Buys close down their shop it's and installation. installation. Yes. There is, however, a back door. Like a warehouse style. Kind of. It, it It's slightly warehouse style, but there is a door that's in the back, and it's normally close to the restrooms, if not in the same little hallway that the restrooms is you go it'll say employees only yeah but go through that door go straight out through but the nine, back of the nine building. times out of ten you can't say you can't get to there because say for shits and giggles have you been to the best buy on the north side mm, the one in river city yeah yes all right so you know where all the xbox shit is right yes it's right next to the nintendo in the back corner on the right hand yes. side <laughs> bathrooms are on the far left hand side towards the front of the store mm-hmm. like eh, middle middle by the uh, appliances you can't get there, but there's a warehouse entrance to the back to get into their stock room where you can go from there. So, like, I know these things because, like you said, you have to know your ins and outs. So, me, what I'm going to do is, some, say I'm in Walmart and there's an active shooter. First thing I'm going to do is try to get people into an aisle that's going to take – because active shooters are going to be like electricity – they're lazy. They want to take the passive least resistance. Sure. They want to walk down the main aisle and they want to take out as That's many nice. people mm-hmm. right there and then. They don't want to walk into the back of the store. So what you do, funnel everybody to the most difficult spot to get to. It's tedious. It's annoying. But that's the way you do it. You get them out of the way of the path of least resistance. So for shits and giggles, you're in the pharmacy. Active shooter comes right up next to the pharmacy. What do you do? Force everybody to the dog food. Now we're out of now we're out of Best Buy. Yeah, now we're out of Best Buy. We're in Walmart. But he switched like Thursday. He switched the store like twice. This is just thought process wise. This is I didn't how get it. this is how I think when I walk into a store because the last thing I want to do is be caught with my pants down. I mean, you guys see my ass like. That's tempting. That's fucking sweet. Well, I mean, if I have if I'm standing right next to the pharmacy and somebody comes in and starts shooting, I'm gonna get nice and behind the counter so I've got some decent cover under me, get over, identify the situation, move from there. Give me the Adderall behind the counter for what? Obviously, (laughs) obviously first thing you want to do is find cover and then take stock of the situation. Hands down. Fine, give me the Adderall for what? It really depends because it's it's so hard to put yourself in that situation now. Without actually being in that situation. If if I'm going to be in a situation how I'm prepared now, then... Do you jump behind the counter and grab the Adderall or the Viagra? (laughs) Viagra. (laughs) Viagra, you drop your pants and you run at him full steam. (laughs) Sword fighting time. You you pop a few holes in them and show him what it's like to be violated. (laughs) All right, go ahead, John. But I mean, okay. So if it, what are we talking about? The movie theater? Or are we still talking about active whatever, shooter? whatever? Just, active just, shooter? Just in general. We're bouncing. We're bouncing. You're 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 in a predicament just, where you have to choose whether to take a human life or not. It's it's gonna happen. Yeah. Now, am I gonna do it right away? No, because I'm still gonna. You know, you gotta assess the situation all the time. You can't always jump the gun, figure of speech. But I mean, <laughs> I did like you're say okay. Okay, give me, a, give me a situation. You're at Walmart with your wife and your son. Mm-hmm. You're walking through Walmart. You have your son in the basket in the cart because you, I, yeah, 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 you know you put your fucking kid in the cart, <laughs> and then you and your wife are walking side by side. You're pushing the cart. She's putting everything in the cart. Active shooter comes in. It's mm-hmm. gonna be like an airplane going down. First, you take care of yourself, right? Correct. You, which you, you secure sure your, you yours. Get a, yeah, you got to secure your mind, be ready, and then you start taking care of everybody get your, else. Get your adrenaline under control. Yeah, because if you know, if I'm a regular person or how I am now, I'm gonna start like shivering and start. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> your adrenaline kicks in. Yeah. you're like, I don't know what the fuck to do. So you At that point, your yourself. body's kind of taking over in flight or fight mode. Correct. Yeah. So that's why I'm gonna assess myself and make yeah. sure that I'm ready. Then I'll get everybody situated. Then you just gotta figure out where, what's going on. Mm-hmm. You can't just you know go running. Like you guys do yeah. in Call of Duty, so I've heard. 
<laughs> hold on, that's hold on, that's hold that's on. A, that's another conversation. Okay, anyway, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it's just all about situation uh, awareness for hand-eye coordination. <laughs> but so you would get yourself on the control, save your, put sure. your wife and kid somewhere safe, somewhere safe, and then creep your way around safely. Putting people in a safe manner or putting them, yeah, or like, getting them like, to safety. Kind of pretty much like you see in a God movie. You tell everybody to go down, below. make sure they're just, you know, it? Yeah. Oh. make sure they're just safe and yeah. they're not going to get in your way of trying to, That's, you know. I mean, I'm the kind of person that's going to try to draw his attention towards me and let and just give the people another chance. I mean, as bad as that sounds, I might not be ready for it, but I mean, at the same like, time. Yeah, but like today's can, world, everybody is going to start panicking. It's just yeah, it's, it's, it's natural. Yeah, yes. it's basic human nature. That's why it's for, so hard because everybody also wants to pull out their phone and start recording and be like the best shot and try to be famous and do all that. That's <laughs> it's so hard nowadays to even think about this kind of situation. But it's you just got to make sure that you're in tune yourself so you can go ahead and deal with it. Because most of the time, it's going to be, oh, shit, shooter, everybody's going crazy, and then it's, oh, let me pull out my phone and record this. Yeah. Because today, nowadays, nowadays, it's, oh, let me get this, let me get this so I can be insta-famous. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> and it's that's stupid, sad. and that's, and it's pathetic. Sad. Honestly, it's 100% pathetic seeing people get into getting into fights, and there's hella people, like, like say a kid's getting jumped. Yeah, everyone wants to pull out their Everybody wants phone to pull out their and, phone and, and record, record it, it, but nobody wants to help the kid that's getting jumped. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Hold, hold Which on. Is 100% pathetic. That's, well, and that's the thing. I mean, people, you could be. Muchas gracias, señorita. Modelo. Why did I get a dingling when he got a bush? Hold Just on. Drink wait. your beer and stop complaining. Chris. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm out. Oh this is a God. serious segment, but this oh is. Pussy. Anyway, so you, your your choice is get yourself in control, get your kid, your your family to safety, yes, and then assess the threat. One thousand percent, yes. Everybody in agreement yes. to that. Because yes. I mean, John and I being dads and everything, it's different. It's different yeah. because I'm going to secure my my family, you know, my girl, my son. I'm going to make. I'm going to stay here. I'll be back. And you know that's kind of. I would never say that because I'm not coming back. Shut up. <laughs> I'm worth more dead than I am alive. So let's oh, go God. in guns blazing. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Sorry for interrupting you, William. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. You just you just got to be smart about it. Yeah. It, it, in reality, it just. Um, you just all right. Be... All right. So let me ask you this. Sure. Because sometimes I get bougie, and I carry a larger pistol. We won't specify. Here we go. I carry a larger pistol in a book bag. While I'm carrying either my clock or my SIG on body. Now, I'm in Walmart. Or better yet, nah, no. No, let's, keep let's it stay, at Walmart. Let's stay with Walmart. Because you say, went from Best Buy to Walmart I'm, quick. I'm in a bank. I was going to say I'm in a bank. But no. No, that, that's no. kind of that's kind of fucking, that's a terrible situation to be in. But well, I'm going to be honest. Bank, I'm just going to I'm just gonna throw my wallet and be like, here you go. Fuck if, you. If you're in a bank, obviously. Mm, you saw me get robbed. Me. You know my shit's real. But <laughs> if you're in a bank, situational situation everything changes wise you're in a smaller more open area but, you would go for what's quickest yes but that's not what that's not However, what i'm getting at if you're in a larger but that's not where i was getting i kind of i kind of like more corners i kind of had the attention so span means, of a right, goldfish so at that point go so ahead. you're at walmart you're you at walmart backpack. and i have my backpack if i am in frozen foods or cold cuts or something like that and somebody walks in the front door and I hear gunshots. First thing I'm doing is I'm throwing Karina in the freezer, hypothetically speaking, but <laughs> throwing her in the freezer and saying, "Stay the fuck here, chill out, and wait for me." Literally, I'll chill be out. back, and uh, I'll run and take care of what I have to take care of. I'll if I gotta so, grab, right, so, if I have to grab my, um, if I have to like grab your run out there, ch uh, like you said, assess the threat. Take a look and see what's around. If I can get a clean shot, if I need to access a larger firearm, I'm going to drop that bag, make ready, and go. So, but if I don't have the time to do so, I'm grabbing what's quickest. Now, So what I would do ideally in that scenario, and I know things are very fluid in that situation, <laughs> but your best bet would probably go ahead and draw from the backpack 
and move from there. The reason that's why, not always an option, though. Well, that's what he's saying. But that's, that's not but always he's an going option. For, he's going for and scoping first. But no. So what I'm doing is – what I'm saying is say I'm in – Frozen I'm in foods. I'm in frozen foods, right? I'm I'm looking at chicken nuggets. And <laughs> <Chicken> <laughs> I'm looking at chicken nuggies. I got you my said, chocolate my chalky milk in the cart. You said I it hear wrong. gunfire. Some chicken nuggets. I and I hear gunfire. I'm literally telling Karina to get down, stay, run, assess the situation. Now, if there is multiple threats where I know I'm going to have to engage quickly and accurately, I'm going for a larger firearm. I'm <laughs> going to sit behind a shelf, peek Take my shots. And, now, and if it's one I'd say threat. Go for the larger firearm, you're in a larger store that is more densely crowded on. with individuals. M- morale. So, so caring. <laughs> well, hold on. So you're going, let's go for we're situational awareness, right? You're in a larger store, higher density of but individuals. See, that, that, the accuracy you want to go with something not, for recoil control? But I'm not worried about accuracy. I say I'm carrying my Glock. We've seen me put rounds at a target at a hundred yards with this gun no problems so the yes, accuracy thing also, is not the problem if I, what i'm saying about a duress situation but what i'm saying is say there is one guy and he's 20 meters out i can do that all day now well, if there's four guys that through duress situations. but that, that's not what i'm saying like i'm just saying theoretically I'm not going to my bag for that. Now, if there's four guys, I'm, I'm going to fucking hide behind a shelf real quick, unzip, make ready, and then from that corner, cut the pie and do what I got to do. So now we're getting into a situation of, um, is that okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, but, and here's what 1, I'm going to go 1,000%. Absolutely. And here's what I'm going to go for for that is we're talking about a duress situation where we're going from something that is slightly less controllable versus something that is slightly more controllable throughout a duress situation. I would take the larger pistol, hands down, regardless if there's one or four guys. No, but what I'm saying is like you have to like assess the situation, and maybe you don't have the time to make ready. So... Mind you, you gotta pull the book bag off. You gotta unzip, make ready. Do that while you're on the way to investigate. The but situation. why would you? But well, but you can't do that. Yeah. So now you, now you hold on. You, you now you in. have to. Now you have to think about. There's an active shooter. And now you see a guy. And now you see a back. gun running. A guy running That's with a gun. Whether or not he's trying to take it out of a bag or not. Now you're looking at a guy with a gun. Maybe there's another guy with a gun. Next to you sees you after hearing four shots go off. He's putting you down. Sure. Because you have the gun, whether or not it's right next to you or down the thing, because he doesn't know what's going on. He's just shit gunfire. There's a guy with a gun. He's not thinking because now you're talking you the, in the in, system uh, of duress. You can be essentially in a, a, let's say a concealed version of low ready. You bring the backpack around you unzip it a little bit. You got your hand on it. Yes, You're, but so all you have to do is pull it out. Yes, that's but, okay. But, but Chris, first what I'm about saying is, is not running around with a gun because then if there's somebody else coming to try to help and assess the threat, but now he sees you not knowing that you're trying to do the same thing as him, he's going to pull his out and fire at you. What, I, what I'm saying is, theoretically, I'm carrying a nine-inch pistol or seven-inch pistol. I have to make the gun ready. So I'm not going to run with the gun coming out of my book bag because there's no point until I assess the situation. So like we're all talking about, you don't want to accidentally send somebody to the hospital or the morgue because you want to purposely send the evil person to the morgue to protect everybody else. That's what I'm getting at. So not only can we think about it, is it moral for me to do this? Now we have to think about, is this, it, can I logically do this? And can I do this without setting off somebody else's intentions? So for shits and giggles, there's an active shooter. I'm checking out chicken nuggets. You're checking out chicken pot pies. 
you hear an active shooter, my back is turned, I see you with your gun, I'm going to automatically assess gunshots, guy with a gun out already, and you didn't assess anything, you're just, like, you, you, you heard the, the shot you timer, should, yeah, you, you heard so, the shot timer, so, you made ready, and you haven't done anything, I'm going to shit myself and say, this is the shooter, I'm going to draw, I'm going to keep my eye on you, potentially shoot you because you drew your gun and I heard fire mm -hmm. before I saw you. So, so I, you have to think about it like huh. that. Here's and I may be a, a flawed in the fact that thinking people would think the same way that I do, right? Let's say you hear gunfire coming from a direction, and you see somebody running towards that direction with a gun drawn. Yeah, but the you, gunfire didn't come from but you, him. But that's the thing; you can't think of that like that because now you're saying duress because you want to sit here and say duress, duress, duress. Yes. You're say, hold on, hold on, so hold, no, 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 hold if on, hold on. You're not, direction, but you're not, not wanting to listen no, now. Hold on, hold on. No, if listen, they're running listen. toward, I know if they're running towards the direction of fire, you're not going to assume you can't say that about somebody else because if you say that, you already, we already have a certain thought process to to. To dial in and say, there's gunfire coming from behind me. The guy to my left just drew a gun and he's running there. I know he's not the guy. But if you draw your gun and you're running that way and somebody who wasn't paying attention, who doesn't have the same situational awareness that we do, sees you running with a firearm, because you are technically brandishing a firearm now, to go... Even though you're doing the right thing, he may see you and not know because he doesn't have that situational <clears throat> awareness to tell the shot came from behind him or to his left. Because there's a difference between low ready versus doesn't matter. Target he, acquisition. A guy, a guy sees you if with I'm a running, gun running. If if somebody's running towards where the direction of fire came from and the muzzle is down, you can't. You can't. But yeah, that's but the see, thing. This is from a bystander point. If I see another dude running with a gun, sure. then it's going to be hard for me to, you know. To I'm, justify. I'm, yeah, I'm just a regular person. I heard gunfire. I see a gun. So they're going to think, oh, this is the shooter. Like what Chris is trying to say. Exactly. And it, it's, it, in a, in a situation of duress, like he is saying. Yeah. But like I, it's, like I said, it's, every situation is different and it's hard. You're Everybody's the only one that can be prepared in the situation. You can, you know, be mindful of everybody else, but you also have to just make sure that you're in protection too. Sure. That's why if I... If I've heard gunshots, I don't immediately have to draw my gun. I would want to know where it's coming from. So mm -hmm. Then I can sure. go to that area. Then, if I'm within the range, I will start drawing my gun. Absolutely. And go that but, way. But it's a lot say, easier. But let's say you turn a corner, and the dude's in target acquisition. You turn a corner. You... Yeah, but if you're talking about me, ready. though, yeah, but you see, you're talking, talking about, about me now. All right, well, let's let's. If let's I talk hear it closer, somebody, I'm gonna be more prepared. On. All right, well, let's talk about somebody who is the fastest concealed draw in the world. Mm -hmm. You cannot outdraw. We're at a morale a standpoint. Drawn weapon. Never. You cannot you can, outdraw. But a if he weapon. doesn't. But the point so is, if he doesn't see you, you're hold on, hold on. That's besides him. the point. That's besides the point. We're not we're not getting to that point yet. Yeah. Right now, we're making it from the chicken nuggets. To say the pharmacy. The the okay. Floor. All right. So, all right. Let's let's say that. All right. So you're in the chicken nuggets. You hear gunshots <laughs> at the pharmacy. You run, no weapon in hand, to the from pharmacy. the chicken nuggets to the pharmacy. You turn a corner, and there is a guy sitting there with an AR-15 who happens to already be aiming towards you. And he so, pulls the trigger. Duck, you don't yes. have a gun hold on. in hand. But see, that's the thing. Even if you have you're a gun, not hold on, ready. hold on. You're but just, see, uh, you're running to but the see, situation. Now, now, so, now we're getting into a situation. You have your gun in your hand. You turn a corner, and he's already, and he's already aiming at you. You're it not, doesn't fucking matter if your gun's in your hand or not. So now, this is what I would do because me thinking the way that I think and hoping that my dumb ass continues with the thought process. You have I hear a gunshots. better chance. Because you already you're you're at low ready, so but that doesn't matter. You still got he, he's pointing at you. Sir, he's pointing you at you. You just said it though. It takes you it takes corner. still um, under duress too. He it okay, takes a so millisecond to go like this. Still, it he's takes still a full under duress too. Right? But that but that's the, so that, that, no, he, how is he under duress? He's killing people. He's he's doing this for the sheer enjoyment of of uh, dispersing evil. So now that's not always the but case. That, but but what I'm getting at is the fact that you have to understand. 
other people are going to be under duress. They see a guy running with a gun after hearing fire, like uh, after hearing shots go off. Their thought process is that guy with the gun. It doesn't matter. Most so people, according to most, both, uh, according to the logic, the best bet is to just leave. No, because so, if you run towards it. And he's already drawn. See, you can't see, outdraw somebody Starling, who's drawn. Sterling, you're no. not you're not you're listening. Not you're not, no, you're not listening. no, you're not letting me finish the scenario. So what I'm doing is I'm running to assess. I'm not going to willy nilly run into a corner to say, All right, there's the guy, he's looking at me, let me go ahead and draw. No, what I'm saying is let me go ahead and start going that way, but I'm not going to draw my gun because I do not want to get shot from, say, the Renacop who's already shitting his pants. But you're assuming that the guy is still standing in front of I'm not assuming he's not standing moving. there. You I'm can not physically a- hear gunshots as as you're running. And okay, he's moving. You guys, he's, what you guys aren't, moving. what you guys aren't listening. He's moving, but let's say he hasn't made another shot. He right? hasn't. All right, he's, he's moving. He's going he down but, the aisles. But why? Why would you? Why would you run without assessing? Are you going to run past every aisle and not look? You've already said you're running mm. to. I'm going to assess the situation. I'm not going to run past every single aisle without looking, everyone, especially. Everyone here said they're going to assess the situation. You're the only one that's ready to draw and be there, without assessing. That's what. That's what. So the now, hold on, to. hold on. So now, let's get into this because so you now are, everybody's dead. You're either dead from the shooter, or you're dead. You're, from that's not. Somebody that's else not, who's carrying. That's not the point. the The fact of the matter is, Sterling. All right. So now we're getting into this situation, right? You pull your gun out. You go from the chicken nuggets to the pharmacy, and you see a guy with a fucking I don't know a high point sitting there, pointed, and he's shaking. What do you do? He, he's pointing it at you because he turned. You turn the corner, and he has it pointed at you, and he's shaking. What are you doing? Because your gun's already in your hand. If he's got a high point, it doesn't matter. I ain't worried about it. If he's got a high point, an AR, an AK, a fucking Barrett, doesn't matter. He's got something pointed at you if he, because if you he turned the corner. If he points it at me because I turned the corner, but that's, that's a not, clear and present danger. All right, cool. Right? So but, you just killed an innocent person because he's shitting his pants sitting in a corner, backed up against the corner, trying to make sure that as soon as a threat comes around, he's going to try to fire and he freezes because he sees another guy with a gun. So you just killed the person without assessing the situation. Or if he's got his gun drawn and he's that nervous and he sees somebody turn the corner, he's going to shoot anyways. But that's the thing. That's why you got to assess the situation. So either you die or you kill an or innocent person. Kill, yeah, so and you're are, going are to jail you, for killing an innocent person. I'd rather go to jail. So you, you think it's okay at that point? To just kill anybody with a no, gun. No, 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 no. no. That's to not what he's saying. To kill somebody with a gun that's pointed at me. So that I can that see, I can see, present danger. I can see where that comes into play. But now you just ran and somewhat inconsiderately turned the corner because you had your gun out and shot. Because now, like you said, the guy is moving and he hasn't taken another shot. So he went from pharmacy to um to celebration. To where all the birthday cards and mm-hmm. shit is. So he's over there making his way to the chocolate milk because he's pissed off because his wife didn't buy chocolate milk. Mm-hmm. Whatever the case is. So he's making his way, storming to go to get his chalky milk. And now he killed six people at pharmacy. And you see a guy with a high point just sitting there shitting his pants because in a normal person's mind, normal, keyword, I just shot somebody. What the fuck? So... This guy's panicked because he had to draw his gun to make sure he can go home and see his family. And you just turned the corner because he had a gun. And that's where the last time you saw the shots or you heard the shots from, you take him out. What I'm getting at is you have to be vigilant about it. Okay, now you can't, you, you can't just, you can't sitting just. there shitting his pants with a gun in the corner. You run around the corner with a gun. He, with a gun. Oh, let's say, let's, let's, spe- say let's be gun. specific. Let's say let's say without a gun. He's not going to see the gun, and he's going to say no. If he's sitting there and he's shitting his pants, he's, he he's has people even, running by him anyway. He's not even thinking about that. If if you're talking about an average everyday person who's sitting there in a corner who just he's got his gun drawn, and the shooter came from his right to his left. Mm-hmm. If somebody's moving because the shooter just went to his left. So obviously the shooter is going to come from the left, and he sees somebody running. He's probably going to go ahead and shoot. Not necessarily because he doesn't have the situation awareness. Now, whether you have a gun you're, or you're not, talking, he's going to go ahead and shoot. You're talking about a guy who literally you're is talking, having. Hold on, you're talking about a guy who's literally having hundreds of people running by him, 
with I, no gun. Highly doubtful. Hold on, hold on. He like say say the guy is running. Say say the guy is make going straight and he's firing. You got people who are trying to make the exit. Who are they now passing this guy? All right, well, hold on. We're talking about people. Let's say let's say we're sitting the guy in the corner, right? The shooter moves from the right to the left. If you're hearing gunshots <clears throat> from the right, people on the left are not going to head towards the direction of but gunshots. But that's the thing. You can't. They're a lot of people. Away. A lot of people to this day. There, it's scientifically proven that some people cannot tell you which direction a gunshot came from. There's like there there true. there's too many people Agreed. who can't tell you which and even at the shooting so, range. So you're you, gonna tell me that if somebody cannot tell which direction that a gunshot comes from, and it's an average person who's went ahead and draws his gun, he and he's shitting himself, he's probably not gonna shoot the first thing that moves. No, he's gonna sh- not shoot necessarily. at the first thing that moves. Okay, so he's gonna shoot at innocent people running because now he's back probably in the corner. If he's, he's back seeing in the people, corner, he's seeing people run constantly past him. So probably now you not. he's, he's probably going to shoot the first two people that run that I doubt way. that. I can almost I, guarantee it. I I highly doubt that. Yeah, but that. you can't really say what that person is thinking. That's what I'm Correct. saying. It's, exactly. It's so so, hard so trying to, to say trying to say the fact that all right, so he's seen a thousand people move that way with no gun and, and didn't shoot. Versus, We're saying with no gun and didn't shoot. Versus he sees somebody who's strafing towards that way looking in the direction of gunfire. He can't even see the gun. He's going to shoot somebody with their back turned to him? Not, no, he's not going to shoot somebody with their back turned to him. But if you're, you're at low, if you're at low ready, at walking, low ready with a pistol is like if this. You're, it's if, tucked. If, if, so he's not I'm walking. See the if gun. I'm walking low ready, I don't walk like this. I walk like I'm walking towards the target because I want both feet on the ground. I don't want to be off balance. That's a center axis relock. This is low ready for center axis. But that's not what I'm saying. Is you're walking with a gun at your chest, ready to press out and pull that trigger. This guy, you're walking right to left. Doesn't yeah. fucking matter right to, if the guy I, went moving, right to if left. I'm moving left to right, but I know the gunshots are moving that way. I'm looking that way. But that and doesn't he matter. Is never gonna see the gun. But to that begin doesn't with. that doesn't matter. What I'm saying is, if you're walking past this guy, like you're saying, you ran to this corner, and the guy, you didn't even look at the guy. You ran to this corner, and you stopped, and you're trying to assess where you're at, and the guy sees you with a gun. And he shoots you because you have your gun pulled out. You have to assess the situation. You have to make sure that you have your gun ready but not shown because you don't want to, A, insinuate more fear, and B, make people think that you are the active shooter. Now, for shits and giggles, say you're in your car. So it's either get shot by an innocent bystander or get shot by the shooter because you're not drawn. How how are you getting shot by the shooter if the shooter's moving like you said? The shooter's drawn. But that's you not you're not but, but see now you're arm. now you're trying to make the situation to where you are right. Are you right. are trying to make the situation no, what, where you are no, right. No, Sterling. You can't outdraw a drawn You're I'm drawn. not Nobody's saying talking. you can outdraw a drawn gun. What I'm saying is you have to assess the situation. You can't run in willy fucking nilly with your dick hanging out saying I'm going to go fuck the first thing that moves. You have to be smart about it because there's a guy shitting himself in the fucking corner now wanting to go home because he decided to go to Walmart at the wrong fucking day and you miraculously look Let's... around trying to assess the situation with your gun shown and this guy pulls the trigger. Or you turn around and see a guy pulling the tr- or holding a gun at you shaking and you shoot him. So let's talk about what's more likely to happen in an active shooter situation. Nine times out of ten, an average everyday Joe off the blow. He's not going to draw he's, his gun. He's not. He's he's going to forget about his gun. Right? He's going to try to run. He's not going to think. He's but just going to run. We're, we're, so but, your situation is null and void at that point. Yeah, but that's not the point. The, you're wanting to sit here and say you're going to draw your gun off the rip. Of course, because you can't outdraw a drawn firearm. But why are you going to fucking run into the guy? What I'm saying is you have to. If you're to, moving towards the situation to right, assess it. You are going to run into a guy with a firearm. You Whether assess. He's ready you check or not, out. You look around. You vi- you visualize about, you're what you're saying. You're talking about running through aisles. It's the same thing as running through the forest where you've got a guy hiding behind trees. So the okay. only way you are ever going to know what you're actually going to do is until you put in a situation or you go to through a training class that puts you in that situation. Right now, you're just saying what you're going to do, and you're just saying what you're going to do. I understand you're gonna, that. You're going to run. Like, me and you will if, be the ones to be running without drawing our weapons. You're going to be the one running with a weapon drawn already. 
Yes, I'll be the person running with a weapon. So that is your that so is your opinion on running with a drawn weapon, so that way you're not faced in a situation where you turn a corner I'm and, and then an have active to active shooter, and I'm not having to draw against a drawn firearm. Yeah, but Correct. there's no right or wrong way to do this because to be honest, it really depends on the person. Yes, we're all going to be. I'm not situation. saying he's wrong. Yeah, I'm no, trying. No, no, I'm no. trying to throw situations just like he's trying to throw situations because he wants to sit here and say under duress you want to have this, this, that. And I'm all yeah, I'm you, saying like is I'm, the like fact I'm that you say. don't want to run into somebody who's scared shitless with a gun drawn yeah. who wants to go the fuck but home. Like I'm saying, I'd rather it really run against depends somebody on the who's situation. gun drawn it, it depends and is on the person. Yeah, like, it really does. I mean, not every si scenario is going to go like. You know how we think it's gonna go. That's why oh, it's never to... gonna go that way. Yeah, exactly. You can never plan for that. That's why, like I said, you all you gotta really worry about is, is see. If I was by myself, I'm gonna worry about myself right now. Of course. Yes, I'm gonna worry about everybody else, but you also gotta worry about yourself. Now, if I have my family with me, it's gonna be myself and my family, and make sure they're okay. Would I go uh, walking around the store trying to find this dude or go? No. To be honest, if I had my family with me, we would be somewhere safe. Of course. I will be protecting that area. If that guy happens to come or some other dude with a gun, I will uh, co make contact with him. And if he tries to fire at me or even aims at me, it's done. Correct. Mm -hmm. that, but that's understandable yeah. because that's more that's more of an accurate situation of you're, you're assessing the yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're assessing the situation. But that's what yes, I'm saying. Yes, you have your gun drawn. You're sitting here. And back up in a corner, say like you're like Christopher said, you're at the frozen foods. Frozen foods has that uh, swinging door where they come to and from the back with yeah. food. Where, where, what is the safest space to put your kid, your family? Right in there. You're going right, right in there. there. So yeah. here, so here, now you guys let, are, let's no, change no, up. Let me finish. Let me finish. You're in that room, like you're saying. I agree with you 100%. You're going to stay in there with your family ready. So you will have. <laughs> You will have you'll, what you'll do is you'll sit in one corner while your family's hidden, but you're still there facing the door, ready for said active shooter to pot possibly potentially potentially come through that door. So now you're sitting there low ready. Somebody walks in with a gun. Sterling walks in with a gun. You make contact. You see he has a gun. You have a gun. What do you do next? What is your immediate next reaction? Sterling walks in with a gun, but he's looking for the active shooter. You're protecting your family. He's just he's just going based off of because for shits and giggles, Walmart is a very big store. Yeah. Which it will echo. So for whatever reason, Sterling can't make out exactly where he came from. He sees that door just now swinging because you just you just walked in there from checking clear, making sure everybody's ready. Sterling walks in there. You have your gun. Sterling's looking for the active shooter. You, he has his gun out. You're you guys, you you're guys lock draw, onto each other. You're immediately going to draw on each other because you see a gun and yeah, he sees exactly. a gun. Exactly. But so that's what's so, the next? What's the next thing? That, because that also your, comes with his reaction is going to be, oh shit, guns pointed at me. He's going to. But hold on. Now this is where Sterling looks and sees a family behind John, right? This is what you would yes, you would assess there's, that. There's people hiding behind him. Okay. okay so that, now that's, now oh. that gun now that sword becomes a shield, right? But and, in your also eyes. the other which, situation which where I in won't his see. situation yeah. where he doesn't see people behind me, he sees somebody walking in Cur with a gun. My, my point now, exactly. Are you looking for somebody that's at a low ready? No. Or I'm are not. you looking for somebody who's walking but, around like but this? But now but now you don't have the training that we have. You haven't You're just you, a guy that carries a gun. That's it. No but, training at all. You see a guy. You, it doesn't matter. You went, you went to shooters. You bought a Glock 19. Or fucking yeah, and if I was that guy, you wouldn't even think twice. You would actually shoot the dude. That's okay. Exactly. The gun. And so that's here's, my point. Here's my follow-up point. Is what I said about 25 minutes ago. I'm worth more dead than I am alive. Fuck it. That's besides the point. You no. don't want to say that. That's We're not talking about. I don't, yeah, you're not talking about death about, by though. suicide. But that comes to the have, point that we were trying to make. To worry would, about, it, would it be okay? I would to rather. Shoot the guy. Would you? At this, would at you, this point in time, now it would be different if I had a wife and kids or anything to worry about. It would be different. However, since I don't have that, I don't. That's not. Still, I, I, I'm I don't. Not I don't about really your suicidal have thoughts right now. It's not suicidal thoughts. We're talking about. We're talking about a, a legitimate situation, right? I don't have, I don't have the wife, I don't have the kids, I don't have the family, I don't have anything to worry about. So if I'm risking my own life to save hundreds of others, hundreds of others, or people with families, or even one person's family, mm -hmm. if I'm gone, I'm gone. Fuck it, who cares? You know, versus, 
hey, John gets to go home to his kids, even if John's the person that fucking shot me. Hey, mm-hmm. you know what? At the end of the day, he still gets to go home and, and spend time with his wife and kids. Yeah, but you don't want to. I'm, I'm not thinking like that. But, but that, but that's, that, but then again, this is situation. different that's situation. But then, now we're, but see, this is what I'm getting in. at. You can't sit here and say that John is going to shoot the first person that runs through the door because he's under duress. That's what I'm getting at. So where I'm saying is, you have to assess what you're going to do. Obviously, everyone's going to assess differently. But you can't tell me that you that I need to draw my larger pistol to run up I'm to some. I'm not telling oh, no, you no, that you should. No, I'm, I'm telling no, you no. what I personally mm. would do because that's what we walked into talking. Hold on, Every, everybody's going to have a different mindset and a different but way. But what of doing I'm things. saying what is, I personally. But would what I'm what I'm saying I would draw was the larger one and and go to work. What I was saying was because I was saying I had it right, and you were saying well you should do this. And but regardless, what I'm doing and what you're doing, I'm not going to run with my gun willy-nilly. I want to assess the situation. Now, me knowing that I'm going to be trying to stop the active shooter, I'm not going to run through every aisle not looking to then turn a corner from frozen food to produce and say, oh shit, there's the active shooter, I'm dead. I'm going to meticulously cut my corners before running okay. through. So that's what so I'm getting at. I'm going to counter that. You're in the middle of an aisle and he turns the corner. Then you duck. Like there there at that point, even if he turns the aisle at high ready, and it doesn't matter if your gun's at low ready, he turns the corner and he sees you, you're not gonna be able to Oh no, he's already there. Pop. It's the same shit either way is what I'm getting at. doesn't matter if your gun's drawn or not. You turn the corner and he's already facing that corner. No, no. You're no, no. Dead. I didn't say turn the corner. I'm saying you're in the middle of an aisle and he turns the corner. And it, it, like say you're say you're facing him, right? Say say you're facing 12 o'clock. He comes from your 3 o'clock, turns the corner. Now you can get lucky and he doesn't see you right away. And then you can assess, fuck, that's him because he's already he's already finger on the trigger, no trigger discipline, ready to go, right? Pop, so you put him down. And and here's here's where the math gets involved, right? You're at low ready, you're trained. Yes. Let's say even if you're not trained for duress. Say, say twenty yards. Twenty yards max, right? L- yeah, let's say twenty yards. Mm-hmm. You're trained. You may not be tr- trained for duress situations. But you have a lot of firearms training. You you have right? enough knowledge to to formulate yourself correctly. Okay. All right. Let's go statistically with mass shootings. Hundreds of rounds, ten people injured. Mm-hmm. He's got a ten percent accuracy. Versus at twenty yards, let's say even without duress, you're at. 95% shot on target. Yes. What is more likely to happen, even if you're at low ready? Like the drills that no, we go I, through, no, you're I understand. at low ready and you go I know exactly what ready. you're saying. But now... We're talking about statistically, mass shooters... Have are, less accuracy. They're, they're, they're not they're trained. Not they're, trained. Just, they're just squeezing they're just, rounds yes, off. They're just spraying and praying. So even if you're at low ready, because you already have your firearm out you still have a much better chance because you don't have that even three quarters of a second. Mm. Let's talk about even if he's at 10% accuracy. Yeah. How many rounds can you squeeze off in three quarters of a second? A lot. Yeah. I can get no less than five rounds off in, in, a, in less than a second. But what I'm saying is, so now your guy, right? We're, we're going through say, uh, scenario A. He doesn't turn the corner. He walks in front of you. Pop. In less than a second, you put him down, right? No issues, nothing. Everybody's good, right? Now, you have your gun out at low ready. He turns the corner. He sees you. Doesn't matter if you can get that half second. Like even even if you start shooting while you're at low ready, sure. He's already pointed. He's <clears throat> gonna squeeze off more rounds, or the same amount of rounds. Whoever hits who. It all depends on who squeezes first because say he gets real close to you, right? Oh, I'm squeezing first. 
Oh, oh yeah, no, yeah. Be, there there'll be four four rounds off before as, I even as get a, the on, on the press out. Yeah, but what I'm saying is okay, now John he's John. turning he's turning the corner. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Mm, sorry. What? <laughs> So what I'm, what I'm saying the three of us is, are getting bored. <laughs> so what I'm saying is now, but you, we're at, we're at a little bit more of an understanding now, correct? Yeah, no, but I exactly. Okay. But what I'm saying is I'm not going to run out willy nilly with my gun because now this guy is seeing somebody running at him with a gun. He's going to be more apt to take them out first versus um, what the fuck are you doing? Anyway, he's going to be more apt to take Just out the person natural, with stupid. the gun first versus. A guy running because he's gonna see the guy running. He's gonna be like, "Oh, this is a guy running!" Pop, 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 and not necessarily thought process. Say, "Oh shit, it's either my life or his life." In our situation, mm-hmm. where it's the same exact thought we'll, process, we'll, just we'll, in a we'll more again, evil standpoint. We'll go again, talk about average active shooter, mass shooter, whatever. But but that's, that's not the that's thing. That's not a register. It's just, oh, hey, person, I'm gonna shoot. Yeah, but that's the thing. So he sees person, I'm gonna shoot. But like, all right, so. Here, let, let's talk about... We're whatever, open whatever. carrying. Hold on. We're right, open so, carrying. Okay. We're open carrying, right? So I'm running I'm, down the aisle you're, you're, with my 107, M107. I, I don't, I don't want to open carry. Okay, I kidding. wouldn't open carry. You said you would, right? I Honestly, I would open carry. All right. I, I, so, so now you open carry. I'm not, right? I look like a regular dude who's just trying to take his kids to soccer practice, and you look like... The guy who's just going to get milk and wants a 357 on his hip. All right. right? So, Obviously exaggerating, but regardless, guy walks in, sees me, sees you, sees 357 on your hip, sees a motherfucker who looks like a dad who's trying to get his kids to soccer practice with a juice box in his hand. Mm-hmm. He's going to go after you first. Absolutely. Right? Because he sees that guy's the threat. Yep. And then he's going to turn to me versus if me and you look like we're on a date trying to get roses and chocolates to go on uh to go take our kid to soccer practice he's gonna potentially go to us first or he sees we, will who's got a leather jacket on and a mean mug and wearing glasses looking like terminator he's gonna say terminate i never said i'd be back so, so be i never here. said hold on wait i'm here now that's what matters i'd be on I, your back oh wait what Ooh, Ooh, daddy. Can, can i get a song out of that so i'm gonna go again with the situation right i'm open carrying i've got a firearm on my hip right Mm -hmm. he draws and he shoots me Mm -hmm. that gives you enough time yes to draw yes but you can't but you don't know i'm carrying but that's the thing like we we don't we don't know each other this is that situation where it's like you guys don't know each other from adam and steve yeah wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute i I don't know you my I, i don't know you from my asshole to my elbow like we just Wait a minute. we're behind each other. We just happen to be carrying. We don't talk. We don't conversate. I don't acknowledge your firearm. You don't even acknowledge me because I look like that douchebag dad. So, <laughs> all right, so, so, so let's let's talk about this, right? All right. So we're standing right next to each other, and you're grocery shopping. You're concealed carrying. I'm open carrying, mm-hmm. and we're going to talk about our our personal situations again mm-hmm. because that's what's coming into play. Of course, our process, right? So even at the end of the day, yes, if it I, means I draw, we start drawing at the same time. And he goes to you and first. And he goes to me first. That'll give you that much more just time. enough time, just enough time to hopefully draw. And, and, and put him down. No, I understand what you're saying. You are, but we all get it because we all have that same thing, that same thought process. We would much rather allow other people to go home before ourselves because that's I'd, what I'd we rather, yeah, that's I'd some rather, that's a that's a unspoken oath that we have when we choose to carry and we choose to put ourselves on that line so so we'll go again with the me and minds is going home yes it's more minds is going home and if that means i'm not going home versus a hundred people are going home or even 10 people or understandable even two other people are going home understandable they're going home but now but what i'm saying and the whole reason behind this was everybody's going to have a different tactic but you can't say that one's better than the other but to me i'm not drawing for your personal situation i'm not drawing it would be until, best for you to not draw until you get to the situation exactly and even even for if i'm running me personally it would be best if I went ahead and drew and moved to the situation. 
that's that's my personal solution. No, I understand. But what I'm getting at is like, all right, per- perfect, perfect uh, analogy. The scene from uh, Bad Boys. No, um, Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. What? The scene from Jurassic Park when the kids are inside the inside the um, the kitchen and they're running from the t- the the raptors. They're not My willy toes. nilly. Yeah, Will Will's fucking toes. Will the the sound they the raptor also makes. They don't have a weapon. But that's not the point. They're meticulously moving to not draw attention to themselves, right? That's that's my thought process. That's how I think about it. Now, if you're willy nilly, they have a lot of reflective what, surfaces what about, that they could see the. <laughs> here we go. Raptors. <laughs> but what about what about when? Why, why did you have to do this? What? Okay, let's just say this. He or Sterling really really thinks of tactical points. I see it. And no, I I do yeah, too. Well, I mean you do too, but to a point, his is strictly. Strictly, strictly tactical. Yours is, you have a little bit more awareness of, you know, because you got different, a little bit of different view on how to do it. Mm-hmm. But his is, like, strictly tactical. He He's the end of the scene where she's taking the fucking ladle and beating it against the ground for attention. Because he's, like he's like a bear, basically, because he's he wants to protect. And bears are going to attack you whether or not. <laughs> you know you're doing like you can be, that's terrible that's but, but don't I'm terrible not, don't but i'm not to it but he's being he's being realistic yeah, yeah, that's yeah. your mentality it's just he's just you could be the guy I'm shitting not, in the woods you're you're, 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 you're the guy you're the guy in the trench coat ready to show your dick to everybody i'm the guy with pants and pants and underwear on no you Wait underwear minute. only underwear Wait he's, okay, he's oh, a step minute. one <laughs> <laughs> but the real yes yeah, i mean that's how it is so me i have full clothes it's it's safe to say that in a certain situation, Sterling's running guns a blazing. Uh, go- I wouldn't say guns a blazing, but but everything you've just said drawn and is, ready. Yeah, okay. You're, you're, that's guns blazing. Well, it's just drawn and ready. You're just not shooting. I think, I think Sorry, you're just running around. Gu- is- guns, guns blazing <laughs> is fucking <laughs> will will fucking trying to show somebody his new Glock 17 trigger on the trigger. Hey, Wait a minute, my gun, guys. Wait a minute. I think guns blazing running down the aisles just pow pow pow. That's, okay, so we'll all agree okay. if we see Will at Walmart with a gun, we shoot him first. Facts. <laughs> I agree. Absolutely, hands down. I don't Ma- even make have sure to see him with a gun because you would know it was him because you would hear his toes slapping the ground while he was looking for people. Bitch, you don't even own a gun. You got a bow and arrow. It's still you more got a new spear for Christmas. It's still more accurate than you'll ever be. <laughs> Bend over. I'll show you accuracy. Couldn't, couldn't hit the broad side of a barn 10 feet away. You are the like, size of like a barn. I, like and you saying, still couldn't hear, hit me. Anyway, like I was saying, it's safe Oops. to say we all have a specific way of handling if we were in that situation. Christopher and I are more – just be, because we are brothers, we have the same – mentality of assessing the threat then drawing if needed so me and eddie nelson have done things obviously you can never train for stress Correct. you can never train for duress doesn't matter if like say for shits and giggles you unless and i go to the range to what unless you're under duress no, and you have to relieve yourself so, so, so the only way to train <clears throat> for stress is to actually be in combat situations. so Correct. so the now so now for, for shits and giggles me and sterling go to the range Sterling's behind me with a gun, shooting at me, and I don't know what the fuck is going on, and I'm trying to hit this target at 10 yards, right? I'm going to act a whole lot different than if Sterling's next to me, say, or Sterling's in front of me, or whatever the case is. You're never going to act the same depending on the situations. So, obviously, Eddie Nelson and I try to... Try to try to come up with a thought process where our brain, even Before under or attempting to yes engage. or attempting because, so because we are always together, it's not even that, not even that. It's just the way we we try to train ourselves is assess situation, get to cover. Now for shits and giggles, if I'm carrying my backpack with my pistol in the with my larger pistol in the back, I'm and I have to go for a gun. I'm going for whatever's on my hip. Pop. And then if I can, if there's more shooters, get to an, get to a, a cover or concealment, then make ready, and then go. Because that's how I want to train. That's how I want to do it. Now, obviously, 
I and I and I apologize that if I if I made it seem like I was trying to argue that you were wrong and I was right and vice <laughs> versa. Oh God. Jesus Christ. That sounded like Godzilla fucking get, getting now ready. Now Johnny for... running. Yeah. Guys, so, guys, guys, I, you know, and, and I didn't want to come off like that, but what I'm saying is, and, and, I, and I guess we're both right and we're both wrong because you know how they say every other man's, uh, your way is right and every, uh, everybody else is wrong. And that's like that for all of us. So it's not that you're wrong. It's not that I'm wrong. It's not that you're right. It's not that I'm right. Obviously, like John said, we're going to have different thought processes now you're never gonna be able to train for a shitty fucking situation because you may go through three bank robberies and they'll be all different you may go through six mass shootings and they'll all be different they will never be the same you could have a dude uh you could have one mass shooting where a dude walks in the door of a Walmart and starts praying yep. versus you can have another mass shooting where the dude is 200 yards, 300 yards away yep. picking off people walking out the door. Yep. Now back to the original thing. Would you take a life though? Yeah. In that situation. For real. Yeah. Back to topic. No, no, no. no that's all part of the topic though. We just haven't, we just never made it to that point because we all were under a situation of what we would do when it came down to it. So now it came down to morals. So yeah, it came down to more, but now <clears throat> may, we're, Get, let's get to the fact of we are now in front of our threat. Our threat. Are you taking his life? Yes. He, yes. You have a clear shot. You can physically safely end the threat. Are you taking the shot? Yes. yes. I broke ah, that, yes or no. 20 laws to end the threat. <laughs> I'm ending the threat. If I this spend the rest of my minutes. life in jail, it doesn't matter. In prison. If so, they yes or no. Me Sterling, Texas, Sterling, it's a yes I'm or no question. Sterling, it's a yes or no question. You have the a complicated form of yes. Yes. Uh, a okay. complicated form of <laughs> hard yes. We are With all... what gun? I'm just Jesus. Kidding. No, I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. No, no, not even what gun. Listen what to this. ammo? How hot is it Stop, loaded? motherfucker. Hold on. Listen <laughs> what, to that. Wait. That hard, that hard, like, yes that he was just trying to fucking get out, either it was a yes or no fucking question, there's one goddamn answer. You, on the other hand, yes or no, you are like a sandpaper dildo right now. You are no fun. <laughs> Oh god damn. I, bitch I like ass. sandpaper dildos. If I broke every law in the world to end the threat, I would do I'm it. I'm about to go to jail right now. So it's yes. Just say yes. <laughs> you, you, might, you might as well uh, give me the ledger chair right now. Anyway. I mean, yeah, because you'd miss. So we are all <laughs> <laughs> Hey John. John, grab that extension cord behind you, put it up to again uh cut it, strip the cables, put it up against the one twenty outlet. I wanna see if uh Will's nipples are actually conductive. Wait a wait a minute. Anyway. Mine are. I can yeah. tell you right now, mine are. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, start with him. Fucking so, steel, steel rod going through both of them. So stainless. We are all in agreement that even though the topic was, is They're it gonna okay? They're going to listen to this episode and yeah. be like, what the fuck? Even though the whole topic was, is like, it okay where, where to, are we what, uh, when is it okay to take a life? We are all in agreement, agreement that if we were put in a situation where we had to choose to <laughs> eliminate the threat or save your life, we're all eliminating the threat. Yeah. Like, yes. like the five of us. At the end of the day, the five of us, including the complicated one to my left, we are, <laughs> we are going to You sound make like sure. a leftist. Oh, God, no, he doesn't. Don't say that shit. Oh, God, here we go again. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we, are, we are all going Wait to minute. stand behind you at Walmart. <clears throat> we are all going to... We are all going to stand behind you at Publix. I'll let you Walmart. Get, I'll let you get shot first. I'm going to take the shot after you go down. We we That's will I'm always <laughs> be willing. After I get shot. <laughs> we will always be willing to put our lives on the line to make sure we all go home as many of us as possible. It is to me. It is okay when they're like Sterling said in the beginning. It is okay to me three hours ago to make sure that there is a. Clear and obvious threat. Once that threat is Recognized. identified, mm -hmm. that's when it is okay to make sure. And, you know, there there's millions of scenarios where I say, fuck it, hang them, shoot them, beat them, stone them, whatever. Wait a minute. Once again, because this is a podcast and it will be posted on YouTube, there are well, if there is, God forbid, hopefully not God forbid, but hopefully people, other people listen than our regular people that have been listening. 
if you have something to say on that topic on the comment, please let us know in the comments. We want to know. Them. We want to know what you guys think. We will see those s- comments. We will re- we will read them. We will reply. If you are but pick your poison of who you ask to answer the question. Correct. Correct. If you have a direct per- question for a certain somebody, say, "Hey, I have a question for said person: Sterling, John, Will, Eddie, Christopher." Yeah. Ask ask the question. If you have something to say, say. If you're in agreement with us, say so. Yeah. If you if you have something, if you're not in agreement and you have a different view, let's let argue. us know. We we will gladly not necessarily we like, argue. All right, let's debate. No, but, no, but, no. I want to know debate, what other people yeah. think. This is this platform is to find out what other people think. We all. I mean, at the end of the day, we all want to go home to our family. Correct. At the end exactly. of the day, we all want to be with our loved ones. So, like, what he's getting at is this isn't us trying to convince the world that capital punishment is, like, the only way to do things. I mean, shit, if you can point a gun at somebody and negotiate with an active shooter to drop his gun. Be my guest. Be my guest. If that's your call to action... And if you have the patience and the the gift of gab to do so, by all means, pray praise a life. But I will say this, and I and I bet I say this for everybody in this room, we will do what we can to stop evil before evil harms good. Well, that's Correct. kind of that saying that really good people have to do really bad things to really bad people and that's kind of the and that's kind of the stance that we all fall underneath and like i said that's what makes us that's what separates us from the others and with that you know uh, i'm gonna i wouldn't I, say us from the others i would because that feels like singling us out us five individuals but, but that's the thing that's what singles but out not a lot people of people are well but the but good. the thing is there's a lot of people there's still not a lot of people like us that are willing to make the hard calls but then you got to think there's other people who have made those calls yes Touché. who have been in that in that situation Touché. so so now for just quote-unquote bullshit statistics just throwing out bullshit numbers here i will not be a statistic hold on you're you're a statistic regardless bitch whether or not there's say Forty percent of us are willing to put ourselves in front of others sure. to make sure that they can go home. Yep. So, like for shits and giggles, I'm off. I'm you at Publix. Say that one more fucking time. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. I'm at I'm at Publix getting a, getting a fucking buffalo chicken tender sub with bacon, and you just got off work. You don't have your gun on you. You got Jackson in the truck with you. Got Jackson at your side. If there's an active shooter, I'm gonna make sure you and Jackson go home. Just like I'm gonna try to make sure that everybody else in Publix go home. Granted, I'm going to leave behind Rex. I'm going to leave behind Karina. If something happens badly, you can't plan for everything. But just like I know you would have my back, Mm -hmm. just like I know you, you, and you would have my back, I have your backs. I will have the back of every individual at Publix if I could. Best case scenario. Hold on, John. Would would you be there? Where? Publix? No, I'd be at Rose. So yeah, getting getting the fucking smoke. Uh, what is it? Smoke brisket. sausages, so, or the smoke brisket? The, uh, so look, on that note, the, the the best case scenario, we dispatch the shooter. Worst case scenario, it costs us Shut the fuck up. our life, and somebody else manages to get home or manages to dispatch the shooter. Yes, sure. At the end best of the day, that's kind of what it boils scenario. down to. Yeah, wor- best case scenario. Nobody's hurt other than the shooter. Worst case scenario, I don't make it home, but a hundred and other fifty, a hundred and fifty other people. A hundred other fifty do. people. Yeah, a hundred other fifty people do. Bro, they're gonna call. They're they're gonna open up their own like dispatch at the police station and have us like sit in there. I'll be like, yeah, that that department you're looking for is the dys- dyslexic department. They're down yonder. <laughs> the dyslexic retards. Down yonder ways. <laughs> We're gonna be the special. So what? Like. So what's what? Hey, we we, we finna send them over there. So what? what? The, uh, we'll, we'll, the, we'll be the SBI. The, the special BIF. Bureau of Investigation. <laughs> what, what kind of shit are you investigating? Bend over. Wait, you're wearing a very large ring. Mind your fucking business before I give you a cup check. <laughs> Bend <laughs> over. Mind your business, You, you see this ring on my forearm? It's my anal fisting record. <laughs> God. <laughs> You ever heard of the Rainbow Record? <laughs> you see this motherfucker to my right? His name is John. He does some sick shit in Guantanamo Bay. He's the one who invented the cock meat sandwich. 
I am the cock meat sandwich. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is it the cold cut combo or black forest ham? <laughs> I'm going to go cold ground, cut. Ground maple. <laughs> I'm going to go cold cut. John's Asian. It's cold cut. John wrote that commercial for Arby's. I got the meats. <laughs> no, Sean wrote that commercial. <laughs> oh, that, oh, did you all hear that thunder earlier or was that Sean dropping his nuts? I think that was Sean taking a shit. His dick probably hit the porcelain. I don't know. I, I don't remember Will being in the room at the time, so... Oh, did you fall in the shower? No. Oh. Yeah. I took a shit. <laughs> you took a shit. God damn it. You told... Listen, you, you, two, you two hens over here were arguing, it, so... I mean, you I was gonna, arguing. Okay, debating. I'm sorry. I thought you guys were going to get together eventually, have a good sit down together, sing kubaya, and have a big group and bunching of your panties. <laughs> oh, we will. After, Cherry panties. After we're done. Wait, do you wear underwear? No. No. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. John, do you snatch those too? No. Then who got them? Eddie Nelson. That's your brother, though. No, so? He has one. He lives in Hilliard. It's okay. It's like the Virginia of Florida. Well, West whoa, Virginia. Whoa, whoa. West Virginia. No, it's not West Virginia. Alabama. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. <laughs> someone gonna ca- gonna someone earlier heard that one. Here we go. Someone earlier. Go said, Gators. Someone said, someone told me, it's okay to fuck my cousin. Go Gators, I guess. Go Gators, I guess. Go University of North Florida. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Is that, where you, is that where you get your degree from? You're supposed to be like geniuses. UNF, that's, that's All right. So on that anyway. note, everybody, like Eddie Nelson said, you know, drop us a comment. Let us know what you what your thought process is. If you would or would not be willing to take a life to save countless other people, sure. At Let, the cost of your own. At the cost. At the cost, or potentially cost. at the cost of your own life. You know, let us know. You know, give us some feedback. Let us know what you guys want us to talk about. We're we're here to talk about whatever. I mean, obviously, it's pew pew and chill. So keep it somewhat related, for the love of God. Um, but just let us know. Where's his underwear? If you want us to do an hour and a half row session on Will's feet, we absolutely will. I mean, we can also switch to Will's head if you need, if need be, if you guys get bored with his feet. They're talking about the one in my pants. No, that's too big of a subject. You know, you know his bar. You know his barber's clippers took a shit. I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah, his Shane. Bar- I know you're listening because you said you would. You can go fuck yourself, <laughs> and I'm gonna diarrhea all over everything you love. Shane, I just mean- literally charge him on the next haircut for a new set of clippers. Yo, just fuck him up. Like, get rid of that hey, toupee have, that he has on his listen, head. Listen, listen. He shaved his he shaved his face the other day. Yeah, I know. I saw. Oh, and did you guys see that he looked like the fat Rosie O'Donnell? Fatter Rosie O'Donnell? No. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let you know right now, you should not be talking smack about people that handle your food or people that are in charge of making you look somewhat half-assed decent. Yeah. Isn't that like the pot calling the, the cut of black now? I don't hold up, talk hold up. shit about the surgeon or anybody that handles my food. Hey, uh, obviously, I, Tyler, we love you. We miss love you. you. Tyler. Absolutely. I, I I'm so you. sorry that I couldn't go see you the two times that Shane, I scheduled I love you. my fucking appointment this week. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yo, Tyler, I need a haircut, bro. What's up? Yo, if you come up to Jacksonville, I'll pay you triple. And you already know how... (laughs) You already know. Just come up here. I'll pay for your gas. Uh, On that note, everybody, have a good night. We love you. Drop a like, comment. Share our shit. Yeah, if if you guys have the same views as us or you like what we talk about, share it. Or if you think we're retarded or funny. Wait, Wait a minute. If you guys have a comment on what we want, what you want to hear us talk about next... Let us know. Or if you want us to try to bring a special guest, like a female. That'd be cool. Yeah. That way we... Well, well you can't be around females. Well, my girlfriend would shape me. Please yeah. have socks on when they come over. <laughs> 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 All right, everybody. We love you. Have a good we night. We love you. Have a good night. We love you. Bitch. <laughs>